Alrighty, and we are back. Look at us all here again. I'm so joyful today. I have to say, today is a very special day. I am so happy. But yeah, um, yep. Uh, welcome back and uh, hello to everyone. Uh, welcome to another episode of Candle Key Mysteries and the Seal Pages of Glass. Yay! We are the Rollers of Fate, and we are super excited to be here with you. Unfortunately, my co and Unlucky still remain absent, but they will so hopefully join us back again. Uh, may the mighty internet gods help them as well. I don't know if that even works. Otherwise, they can bless us on our cyber journey, and we'll be happy with that. I am Cisco Blanco, your tail weaver and chaos coordinator, and alongside me I have the, one of the greatest online tables on the world. Candle keeps most successful beaver bashes. Could you please, friends, introduce yourselves and your characters? But before that, a special welcome back to the sensational Ross. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Thank uh, you. Please, uh, if you don't mind, Ross, uh, you could... Uh, you could just introduce your character's name if you want and tell us who, who mm -hmm. you are, whatever, and uh, and then and then we'll keep the rest for when we meet him on game, and then you can describe him and all that once that happens. So yeah, uh, if okay. you could please be the starting one, actually, if, <laughs> just because you are here, why not? Please, so just tell us a bit more about you. Uh, hello, I'm I'm Ross. I'm back uh, today. Um, playing a character called Revan Ronister, which has not appeared yet. Um, normally playing another character who is uh, Aki, who I think is currently the um, the house guest of some very nasty people. Uh, I will be turning up whenever Cisco uh, well, gives me the opening. You know, our <laughs> table is always been your table, so there is no doubt of that. You, we are at your disposal <laughs> as always. But thank you for being here. And... <laughs> Amazing. Look forward to that. So, Popcorn Joey, that was meant to be the starting one this week. Okay. I mean, hey, I'll, ta I'll take it. Hello, everybody. My name is Joey. I'm playing Errol Emmerfield, a level 12 Elven Horizon Walker Ranger. I'm looking forward to meeting Ross's character. It's going to be so much fun. It's good to have him back. But in the meantime, Mark, take this from me. Eh. Yes, I'm playing Joku, a uh, turtle, and now only uh, the only multi pa uh, paladin in the group so far until we <laughs> will rescue Aki eventually probably two years um, yeah let's dump it to Luke <laughs> uh, yes hello I'm Luke I'm playing uh, two characters today I'm playing uh, Fiona who is a background NPC character for Ziggy who is the other character I'm playing both are wizards in some aspects but Ziggy is mostly a bard with two levels of wizard. Fiona is level 6 wizard, who is just happy to hang around for a bit. No longer playing a genie, as I have been for the last 70 years. And I believe that is everyone barring Andy. That would be correct. Yes. Hi, as you said, I'm Andy. I'm playing uh, Bruce Moonbeer, the half-orc barbarian with a dash of cleric, also trying very, very hard not to let everyone know who the fuck Ross is actually playing. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> if I'm if I'm guessed correctly. Awesome. Thank you very much uh, for that, guys. Uh, that was sensational. Um, now, please, uh, Andy, if you could enlighten us with some announcements whenever you're ready. All right. Okay. Not going to be as quick as Mark is. That's impossible. But definitely fast and easy to score. We're here on Twitch on our YouTube channel at Rolls of Fate at <clears throat> D and D, where you'll find all our previous episodes, including Eye of Observation, Dining in Barovia, Hearts of War, our modified version of Dragonlance, Shadow of the Dragon Queen, and of course this one today, Tuesday, Candlekeep Mysteries and the Sealed Pages of Ergos, right here. Get in touch with us at Rolls of Fate at gmail.com. We also have a Twitter channel. I'm not calling it X at Fate D and D. Our games do have adult language, jokes, situations, themes. You might not like them, might be inappropriate. Take away for a minute or two, then come back again if you watch to. We want you to stay. Thank you to Tessa Presents for the awesome maps, Dan and Curtis, Tabletop Audio for their excellent music, and to James Webster for their amazing art. Also to every artist in existence who have posted stuff on the internet for any time we use AI art. Very important. Lastly, please give us a follow and a like if you haven't done it already. Helps us get our streams out to as many people as possible. We'll be forever grateful. Cisco, take it from there. Yay! Thank you so much. That was sensational, Andy. Um, just to give you the heads up, Joey, uh, next week I'll be your turn. Uh, let's see if that's cool. And, 
And now we're gonna do something. I already spoke with Andy about that, just to give Ross uh, a flavor of how it is to roll for group inspiration. Ross, you're gonna be rolling today for us. So, so how it works, you roll a d6. Sorry for a parrot just flew off. Uh, she's very angry because my flame is having a siesta and she wants attention. So be a content warning, parrot screaming. <laughs> so yeah, roll a d6, Ross. And uh, you already start with two inspirations from last week. So today could be the game that you have more inspirations ever. So. Hey, we all remember how well this used to go. Let's see. Okay, I'll put it on casual <laughs> beer here. Nice. Oh, well, there it is. I, you know what? I knew you were going to do that. I promise <laughs> you. I was thinking yesterday, what do I do if he rolls a six? Well, I decided I will roll with it. So you have eight fucking game inspirations. Well done, guys. Very Jeez. nice, Ross. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Cool, cool. Uh, and with that said, uh, thank you all for playing with me this evening. And to everyone who is joining us uh, from their homes. Uh, please make yourself comfortable, make, grab a nice drink, and now let's see which mysteries shall be revealed today. Previously, the Caravan of Chaos and Gas the Genie arrived to Merin on their flying carpet, fast and sudden piercing the morning's glory. In there, they ran errands and visited their friends and acquaintances, whilst haunted, me haunted memories of the past accosted them. And at midday, the group participated in the yearly Rose Talent Festival, winning first and second place. Before the, the prize could be claimed, one of the props used for the show, made of several two-headed owlbears on wheels, transformed into real monstrosities and attacked. As the fight progressed, the cock's hot fire burned the stage, but they managed to kill almost all foes with great team effort and mighty force. Yet, the last two grew more hands and heads and assaulted the cocks. Soon after, Fiona, a wizard friend, helped the heroes fearlessly, helping them to achieve another glorious and hard victory, while Gas prepared to enjoy an elven banana split. Later on, the flames were extinguished, the stage was repaired, prices were received, and a huge riot against the Church of Saloon was stopped with brave determination and kind words. The owlbear's props were inspected, was inspected revealing an inscription as well as visions of an evil force lurking in Vermilion's swamp. And finally, celebration and well deserved rest took place. The next day, in Vermilion, the caravan of Chaos and Fiona explored the abandoned town looking for the business partners, the Mackenzie and Stone Brothers. Flowers were placed in Lucas' wife's grave as requested, dodging the graveyard boggles. Thereupon, entering the platinum mine and suffering the unique effects of the doomed environment and a little boom from Mossy as well. And here is where our story continues tonight. We open in a dark labyrinth of tunnels covered by different colors moss. Deep within, close to the main chamber. Riva, is that how you pronounce your name? Yeah. Revan. Reva, Reva, yeah? Revan, yeah? So Reva. Revan. Uh, okay. I... From the passage where you remain hidden, you see the group, let's call it Lada, conversing with the two dwarves uh, that you have been spying upon for the last couple of hours. And you notice that they were just sitting on that table where they remained until these heroes came, staring at each other, doing nothing, completely weirdly. No words were uttered, 
there was just silence. Then you, as the tense words, as, as the conversation take place, and after tense words, you see that their appearances start to change, becoming thin and tall, and their skin turned to a light blue color, and you notice then now that they are dressed up as mages as well, with kind of like dark blue robes. And as one of them started using his arcane magic to stop a spell, and suddenly they both start glowing with this lightning ray energy, crackling lightning. So what we're going to do, um, I'll need your Ross to roll initiative, uh, Riven. Um, sure. on, and yeah, Riven, Revan or Riven, sorry, one last time. Rev, Revan. Revan, yeah. okay, Revan, Revan, Revan. Yes. Okay, cool. On your turn, I won't slay your name anymore. On your turn, you can describe uh, how, how your character looks like and all that. Um, and whatever you want to do anything, actually, because who knows what he will be doing. Also, Mark, uh, if you could please uh, roll for us a D10, and that will be how many rounds of foresight you have remaining from Mossy as you were under that effect as still. Hey. Do we have an initiative count and whatnot? <laughs> yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a map and a count uh, and all that. One quick second. It should be on the other. Side. Yeah, let me put you in the if battle map. I remember map. correctly. And if I remember me, correctly. We all rolled man. shit. Fuck, Mark. I don't okay. think we did. Amazing. We didn't roll yet. Right. So we Mark, did roll. We rolled before we finished last week. Ten rounds. Yeah, you have initiative oh, yeah. already. Yeah, it's everyone has several rounds. Then I should I'm... roll again because I have advantage still. Yep. Yeah, Very good surprise. point. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Under ten, as you. Why did I even do that? <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah, you. I. I guess this is how it works. I think you can still take the one you want, really. But yeah, yeah, I will still yeah. take maturity. Okay, so really? this is Don't your initiative. Uh... You know what? I will take the fight because I'm sure Ross will roll low as well. We so yeah, back whenever together. you can. At Give the me bottom. one <laughs> second. Let me reveal what your token is, so you can highlight it and click it, and then let me know if it works as well. Thank that you. token. Yep, there yep. you are, hidden away on the other side, watching all this as uh, it happens. I I currently see just the candle keep mystery. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm done. I'm myself on the map, and no one else is. Sorry. <laughs> okay, now. You should be seeing it in one second. Okay, everyone's camera has gone black. Who knows why? Okay, now uh, everyone is back. Okay. Yeah, I think Joey needs to step away. He said he said to to to, to type to him if he's to okay. type to him if he needs to make rolls of any okay. kind. No worries. He is quite literally second in initiative. Yeah. Okay. Actually, he's first. I think. Uh, to be honest with you. We'll have to see one second. That no. Well, okay, so pretty let far. Me, let me center this map. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, here. Uh, I think his initiative should be plus five. So if he's matching the creature, hmm. Yeah, that's why he's he. I think he's got a higher dex. I just need to check. I don't think the creature has got five for dex. That's almost for sure. Okay, and I see we have two creatures that shouldn't be here. Bye, Jamie. Bye, McDougan. Okay. Cool. Music. And now we roll, can roll. Uh, so what did you get? You got a seven. Okay, perfect. Okay, so I don't even need to align the initiative. Strong start. Yep. <laughs> I mean, come on. He rolled. The strong start was the six initiatives, I think. So the six group inspirations. Okay. Things must even out. Yeah. Let's try this one. Mm. Wait, yeah. is Mark actually taking the 5 for his initiative and not the 13 he had? That was a joke! God, did you get us killed? It doesn't really matter, like, I'm slower than the other two anyway, so... I guess. Unless a third contender appears, but... Uh... What if Ross is the third contender? Oh no! <laughs> Fuck! 
I'm a stone dead last. If that were fine, then. Okay. Yeah, we'll roll with. I mean, we haven't person. killed a party member in such a long time. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so Joey will have to go first, uh, I believe. I need to send him a message. Yeah. So tell him. If not, we can. Yeah, but it's gonna be bad if we skip him for him. <laughs> That's the problem. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. You're up yeah. first. <laughs> yeah, because uh, you saw the these creatures were kind of getting ready to cast uh, uh, two spells. So and they are together. So they're gonna fuck you right up in there. Uh, unfortunately, he just he just he doesn't realize it's his turn already. I'm saying, ah, you're first. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. Okay, so we go there. Give it a second. Here. Yeah, no worries. Their decks is very close, I have to say. He's got, they have uh, very close, but not close enough. So, so, so fall. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So, Ross, you glad to be back then? Yeah, man. Yeah, uh, um, I can I can hear um, things happening in the background in this house, as I'm sure other people can. Uh, <laughs> if the microphone and these headphones is good enough, but yeah, um, this this is kind of a, this is to see how this goes, because uh, the wee, the wee man's been very interesting uh, of late. He's interested in things potentially dangerous, electrical or poisonous, and he dives head head first Ooh. off things. He's a oh, tru shit. he's truly a, a member of my family. He's a red haired ADD. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's uh, it's been brilliant fun, as you will find out soon, Andy, because you'll be here in a few weeks. That's true. So, middle of the night screaming, you're going to uh, be next door to. Cisco, so cool. I'm just uh, reiterating mm -hmm. to you on the. Uh... Roll twenty chat. What uh, Joy would like Errol to do? Okay, okay, perfect. Oh, I see that. Yeah, yeah, I missed that. Okay, and okay. uh, get his character sheet up if we need to roll something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you could please, uh, whoever can. Yeah. Uh, so Just bonus action, playing a warrior. Okay. I'm gonna remind myself what that does quickly. Uh, yeah. This shit. This may have been a mistake. Uh, bonus action. So the next hit. That the creature makes with his weapon attack deals 2d extra force damage. So he's going to do that. And uh, because he's. Oh, um, he's going to roll to self, I believe. Oh, okay. Says. Okay. Alright, so he's going to make a sharp shoot a shot against uh, this one here. It's an advantage because he's within 10 feet of Ziggy. Okay. That's what he's going to do. Doesn't Planar Warrior give him the advantage already? Uh, no, Planar Warrior gives him an extra 2d6. Hey, there Sorry about that. Um, the, the right? roll should be coming yeah. up right now. Uh, that is definitely going to be a miss, but I would like inspiration to re-roll that. Go for it. Okay. Yeah, friends, anyway, yeah. On the group ones? Yeah, so, yeah. And uh, it's still going to be sharpshooter again, so it's basically going to be the same thing. Okay, perfect. Okay, and... Come on. That's, that's just what it's going to have to be, a 17. Okay, uh, 17, one second, sir. Uh, 17, mm -hmm. yes, uh, hits. However, as you hit mm -hmm. this creature, you see, you hear a few words of power and whoosh, this magical shield appears uh, in front of it, missing it. Fiona will count as well. Yeah, I was gonna, oh, I was, if Fiona wants to do a counter spell, can both of us do a counter spell on him or only one of us at a time? Well, it's only one at a time because okay, as, well, you, um, if Fiona does it, that makes more sense. As she does counter spell, mm -hmm. the other guy will counter spell her. I'll counter spell his counter spell then. Well, oh, nice. Yay! <laughs> yeah. So you see, like I imagine they see like hands kind of flying in the air, kind of doing uh, different movements and stuff. And races. Yeah. So how do you want to do this? So, so mine's at third level. I don't know if he's doing it higher. So uh, he's doing a basic level. So uh, I think uh, you can't spell it. Yeah. Hmm? OK, so let me just get that subtracted right here. There we are. There we go. And um, so that's that done. So that's the counter spell taken care of, Amazing. and then Fiona's counter spell. I don't know about 
or to yeah, a but shield that, or not. That will that will go through. So the shield should have died. So you should have hit. Yeah, yeah, okay. you will hit. Yeah. So this is all force damage. There's going to be 12, 4, 5, 31 force damage in total. Okay, as you hit and, him with uh, force damage, uh, you actually see that they don't seem to be taking as much damage as they should. So that will be okay, good half to, know. to 15. Yeah. Yep, okay. So that's for this guy, and since he's still up, I'm going to take another shot at him again. I'm not playing with Warriors, so this is just going to be just a regular sharpshooter shot on him. Uh, dirty 20. Ah, dirty 20 will definitely hit. And uh, I'm going to activate Favored Foe to add an extra D6 for the damage. This just adds an extra one. So that'll be 11 piercing, 5 acid, 10 sharpshooter, and then one of the piercing. So it's going to be Perfect. 27 total damage. Uh, to which one again? Sorry, my apologies. Oh, the same one. Same one. Same one. Guy. Yeah, oh, perfect. Same okay. one. Perfect. Yeah. Awesome. And uh, after those attacks, Errol is going to move 5 and 10. He's going to put away his bow and he's going to pull out just his shield. And that'll be the end of his turn. Amazing. Cool, cool, cool. Um, Sorry about the interruption, guys. No, come on. You're crazy. It's amazing. No worries. Uh, life goes first. We understand. Great. Uh, and after that, you stay where you are, Errol? Yep. Yep. Okay. Perfect. Uh, after that, we move to one of these creatures. Um, I think you guys see them enough. I'm gonna take him off because he's quite annoying. Bye. Go up. Ciao. Go up. Yeah, look, he can stay up there. <laughs> All nice and quiet. Okay. Awesome. I must uh, go. My planet needs me. Yeah. Uh, so I see only... Oh, they both go on the same turn. Okay, that's fine. I will add him just to make it easier anyway. Uh, yeah, uh, as so as I end. mentioned, sorry, go ahead, Andy. Send they go on the same turn. One's rolled a 19 for initiative, one's rolled a 14. Oh, okay, that's why then. Okay, perfect. No worries. So they don't go on the same turn. I, uh, yeah, please don't hit that. us with two lightning yeah. bolts, one after the other. That is brutal. Yeah, no, 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 that's why. Uh, okay, I'm glad for that. Uh, so as you guys uh, see <laughs> these creatures doing that, let me see. Okay, let me see how you can place himself to hit the most of you so he's gonna move here yeah there hmm, you can actually know yeah this one is gonna be the best way okay so from there as i described you will see like he starts doing this kind of weird hand movement that feels like a spell but you uh most of you will know that this the wordings that he's using don't make any sense it's not actually a material it's just like a, it's not a somatic or verbal it's just like how they are moving the hands to use this and from its mouth as he opens really wide you see this lightning crackling hitting towards the four of you there so i need uh, all of you to make a dexterity saving throw uh, if any of you have an armor made of metal, that save will be a disadvantage. Um, how, is, are you sure you're hitting Fiona? Because like, not in a straight line. Uh, yeah, it's just a 10 uh, from him. It's like a 10 oh, right, uh, okay. foot wide line. Right. Um, my character shoot on Beyond 20 is not letting, is yep. not letting me roll Yeah, save. that was happening yesterday as well. On sa actually on Sunday. So you might have to... To, oh my God, try to try to uh, reload it. If not, either. we'll come to it. I, I, I thought they, I thought they fixed this fucking issue. No, it's back again. Yeah. What you could do for now, you guys could roll a d20 and add yeah. in whatever your modifiers would be. That right. might be so, what you guys um, have to do. Uh, this is for, for yeah. So this one is for Fiona. Okay, perfect. Nineteen. Uh, Ziggy is rolling a ten. Okay. I'm rolling with advantage, and I'll roll two. I got, uh, oh, fucking hell, 11. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, plus four. Oh, yeah? Oh, uh, 15, okay. 
yeah unfortunately the dc 17 i'm gonna tell you just to keep it simple here so any of you who fail will take 44 points of lightning damage anyone who succeeds will take 22. As I think Fiona's the only one that succeeded, I think. Yeah, as that lightning bolt uh, goes there. Um, uh, one second, let me just put a tiny thing here. So we know that's used for now. And that was his bonus action. And then uh, with this action, he's going to start doing some attacks. Lightning bolt is a bonus action. Is oh, a static hell. discharge, it's called, uh, actually. Um, and yeah, then... but that's still a lightning bolt. Yeah, wow. It is a lightning bolt, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then he will use some uh, range attacks you will see from uh, from its hands. Uh, actually, one second. Uh, uh, uh. Is it balls of lightning? <laughs> yep, yep. That's what they're doing, pretty much, yeah. Uh, yeah good. Um, okay. Uh, just... Yeah. Sorry, just for everyone using Beyond 20, or uh, Roll 20, apparently if you right-click on the dice you're trying to roll and then roll it, it seems to be working. Oh, okay. Oh, and yeah, you can like pitch. Good so I don't know whether that will help, but that may fix the issue currently. Yeah, look at the little menu, that's good. Alright. Uh, here we go. You will see, uh, as he starts kind of like moving his hands super quick, uh, Four bolts start shooting uh, from every direction possible as he makes four attacks. Um, and let's see how that goes. Um, actually, yeah. Cisco, for your roll, mm -hmm. uh, Fiona on one of those attacks is going to give you a three. Oh, okay. So that will be with let's, a portent. Let's say that that will be the attack towards her. Uh, if that's okay with you. Yeah. So you will miss one of the attacks uh, towards uh, against Fiona. Uh, the second Actually, does uh -huh. this does this creature potentially beat a fifteen with a three? Uh, with a three plus nine, uh, just told you doesn't matter. Twelve. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's that's yeah. fine then. Yeah. Uh, then. Uh, Attack at advantage towards Yagu. Actually, no, Yagu is not wearing um, metal armor. No one is wearing metal armor. Ziggy, yeah. nobody's mm -hmm. wearing metal armor. Nope. Ziggy will give that attack a seven. Oh. With his portent. Okay. So that will that hit Yagu with a sixteen? I don't think it will. Nope. I have twenty now. Okay. Uh, one attack uh, towards you, Harold. Uh, twenty-two ZAC. PC, PC, okay. Really? That misses. Yeah. Yeah, uh, because a shield plus three or shield plus one because it adds it up to three. Yeah. Oh, you've um, got a shield there. Okay, cool. And last attack. A lot uh, has happened, Ross. <laughs> a lot has happened. <laughs> Towards you again, Yagu, um, as you are right there on the front. This one will be a 15 on the die, so that will hit with a 20 something. And as he hits you, Wait. you will take 14 points of lightning damage. And that would be their fourth attacks. Um, after that, he's already moved a little bit, so he's gonna retreat there a little bit more. So uh, about the position test. Uh, I'll have to mention he's kind of like out of the sudden as well as he's moving back. You realize he's not actually moving as normal. He starts to levitate in the air, and he will go up uh, onto the air all the way to the ceiling, 20 feet. So this mage is flying 20 feet up. Uh, make a, another stealth check. Uh, Riva. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm still going to keep doing it wrong. Um, I, feel like, I feel like the name just runs into Cisco's accent. Not, yeah. not to be a dick, uh, but my stealth checks can't be less than 24. Is there any chance that he's going to see me with that? Uh, let's find out. Uh, he's going to have to roll very I mean, high I'll... to do. If he gets more than that, then I will actually roll, but my, the minimum is 24. Yep, nope. Uh, he does not uh, see okay. you. Uh, <clears throat> as you are completely hidden. One with the shadows oh, right I, here. Okay, I know, I know. Cool. What the fuck? Wait and a minute. Then, yeah, I, I know. And we move to Bruce. Uh, as, uh, 
as you kind of like see what's happened, the mage floating in the air, the other one there staring at you completely. Their faces oh, are that's so ow. kind of cold. They are not have no expression. Uh, I think I get it. Cool. Go ahead. Uh, uh, I would like to rage, but I'm going to do a regular rage because I think there could be something else before we get a long rest. So I'm not going to go blood yeah. moon rage. And I'm going to now. This is a little bit bullshitty because I, this is based on what you said last week. They were both preparing a lightning bolt, essentially. I go five, ten. Could I? grapple him or knock him to the ground to so that he can't aim at the people behind me so he has to he can only hit me you I'll even sacrifice the deck save you could certainly try <laughs> what, what would I what would that so, so it, you could, is that knock, knocking him down and I'm sort of like smothering him or to, am I grappling you will have him? to do two grapples one will be the first grapple to actually hold him the second one will be for you to actually pin him on the floor and then if you pin him, he won't be able... You will be grappled with him as well. Uh, both of you will be uh, restrained with each other, pretty much. That's, I think that's how it works. Uh, but then he can only hit you because he doesn't have anyone else on. He's just... You're going to be on top of him with your knee kind of like on his chest. All right. I'll have a punt then. Okay. So we'll do an athletics check. Is that correct? Right. Uh, yeah, uh, because you are starting, he can use uh, himself athletics or acrobatics. But... Is that advantage with Rage um, Raging? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Before you roll, Cisco, yes, sir. you have a five. Oh, fuck. Okay, that's the second one. Thanks, <laughs> God. Okay, that's it. <laughs> uh, that's, that's the second one from Fiona. Oh, no! Okay, and then you have one more from Ziggy still, right? Yeah. Yep. Amazing. I don't know why that rolled twice. Four okay, tenths, so Ross. Four yeah. tenths. I've grappled him with 26. Yeah, you definitely grappled him with 26. One. As you see, kind of like, oh, you put the knee on his kind of chest. Uh, and then 15. Oh, I grab him initially, and now I'm going to try and uh, pin him okay. to the ground. Perfect. It's, I don't know why that one rolled, but it's... Yeah. Uh, okay, about it's, not, it's not even... It's not even... Come, it's not even an athletics check. It's just a straight roll. May I roll another one? Yeah, yeah. Right, let's just, I'll just straight roll here rather than saying it to advantage. Oh, it's rolling with advantage automatically, that might be why. Uh, soft 20 to try and pin him to the ground. Okay, he's gonna try to roll against you. Good luck to uh, him. Sorry, when I, when I said... I, th I think it's fine. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was about to say, when I said I'd give you the five is for that. Oh, really? Okay. It's, okay. I, I thought it was I, for I the know first what, one. Yeah. Oh, okay. there was a second one? Okay. And yeah. I thought then. to grapple and then pin him. So, so yeah. yeah. So no, then. no worries. Yep, yeah, no worries. So let's say this one is a five, right? No, no. No, it's no? fine. The other one was a five. Sorry. Okay, okay. Yeah, no Sorry, worries. I, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, no, 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 you were. Cool. New problem. Um, yeah, you have been pinned. It worked. Yay! Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, and yeah, I've grabbed him and I've, I've, I've taken him and thrown, and thrown him and me to the ground. Um, I'll put a little net so over me so I am currently restrained as well. And uh, Bruce will shout to everyone, SPRINT! And I don't think I can do any more. That's, uh, that's, my, that's both my attacks. So. Yeah. Cool, cool. Alright. Uh, after that... Bruce turn, we move to Miss Fiona Zaros as we see this uh, yeah. wizard um, uh, Tiflin kind of standing there, yeah. ready. First off, she flies 10 feet into the air and then moves 1, 2, 3, uh, 15 feet that way, so she's got an extra 5 feet of movement. And then, um, just in feeling very an annoyed and just wanting a bit of revenge, uh, just so you'll see her skin starts to glow, and um, without touching your spell, but she just kind of flings her hand towards this one in the air that threw out the um, the lightning bolt thing, and okay. uh, she will go for a guiding bolt on him. Okay, perfect. And that um, is which one again? Sorry, the flying one, yeah? This one. Yep, yeah, okay. the, the flying one. So, perfect. guiding bolt. Yeah. Fucking hell, that is a 50. Unfortunately, oh, for fuck's sake. Sorry. Yep. Well, that's that used. Um, I don't think she really has any bonus actions. 
No, she doesn't. Uh, yep, that's her done. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, after Fiona's turn, uh, we move uh, to McDougan, who is at the moment uh, completely uh, restrained by you uh, and grappled. Uh, he will look towards you uh, and kind of you see his mouth doesn't almost move. It's like a Mona Lisa smile almost for a second. Uh, and then you see him that he actually... Uh, from his hands he shoots this lightning into your face I need you to make a dexterity saving throw that'll be a regular one because I'm currently restrained but I have advantage on dex saves don't I yeah okay Hello. flat die Sinila mm -hmm. welcome oh, back hey. oh no oh no so 20 because yeah, of next plus to, four, uh, yeah, yeah, amazing. Yeah, that is what save you really. Uh, so you will take 22 points of lightning damage. Uh, you you are raging, right? So that will be half to 11 mm -hmm. now. Excellent. So I take it in the face. I just kind of, I do, is it? You pop, succeeded pop, 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 actually? Pop, no, pop, you pop. fell, right? Actually, once I got a 20. Because, oh, yeah, 20. Yager. Sorry, yeah, yeah, just yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, fine, amazing, very cool. And then that was his bonus action. Uh, with his his action, he's just gonna try to do something fun uh, now. Actually, let me mark him as well, so we know that he's used that for now. Um, hmm. He's gonna. Oh, damn it. Sorry. Yeah, he's just gonna go for normal attacks, in that case, just to keep it simple for now, as he's not happy that you are holding him in there. What a shame. <laughs> yeah. Hey, how are you? Thank you. Uh, so, you, as you are restrained and he's restrained, I think it's a straight roll in this case, right? I think that's how it works, is it? Because you were, I I'm guess, fine. I don't know, actually. Yeah, it's fine. Let's do it. So, first attack, uh, that will be a 22. Second attack mm -hmm. will miss. Third attack, a 19. Fourth attack, a nine, uh, 21 as well. So, three hits. 21. 21. Uh, with each hit, already reduced will be seven lightning. So, you will be taking 21 points of lightning damage already reduced. Mm. Yeah, and that will be the end of his turn, I believe. Um, you know what? He's gonna do something fun as he you are grapple with him, and he's cr actually, yeah, that means both of you movement is zero. He cannot do that. Um, yeah, yeah, okay, forget about he's it. He's not going anywhere, You're yeah, going, going nowhere. Anywhere. Yeah, <laughs> amazing. <laughs> the cream of the crop, <laughs> yep. Uh, I find that. myself in a position I'm unjustifiably in. All right. Um, Sorry, it's just... No, no, no worries. It's amazing. Cool, cool. And now uh, we move yeah. towards Ziggy. Next, after Magdura. Ziggy can do fuck all. No, he, he can do stuff. Uh, first off, I think I'm going to determine a bad tail with me bad tail shit. Let's see what that rolls. Okay. Okay, no matches. I don't know what the first die was. I think it was a 10. No, it was a 7. Which may be useful. It's not. No. Actually, yeah, it is. Um, so he's going to use that, actually. Okay. Um, Tell so. Me what it does. Remind me. So it is number seven, Tail of the Begula? Begula, yeah. So, Begula. Um, Begula. I'm very tired, <laughs> okay? <laughs> I'm on five days in a row work wise. I'm very fucking tired. So uh, this guy who. No, actually. If he's 20 feet in the air, but like 30 feet away from me, is that still okay? Yeah, I think he's still in by the yeah. rules, I think you take the smaller number. I think that's how it works. Um, I'll is take it. it. Is it Either Joey? Way, so. I remember me talking with uh, there's, with this, right? there's There's different ones. I know that one rule that I like is that you take whatever the smallest one is and add half. 
Yeah, I think, uh, so I think like... that's what we were using actually. Uh, yeah, but then that means I have to get closer. Well, because I mean, he's like, uh, well, he's 20 feet near, right? So take the yeah. small, which is 20, and then you yeah. add 10 to it, that's yeah. 30. So he's 30 feet away from you. Can it still work if he's 30 feet from you? Mm. Yeah, quite literally. That is the same as go. where I am right then, now. Yeah, okay. that, that's doesn't change anything. Either way, I'm going to attempt to throw it on him, and I'll uh, use that tail as my main action. So, he needs to make a wisdom save. Okay, amazing. Wisdom saving throw. Uh, as you see, uh, as well, for some reason, he seems to be better at doing saves in general than uh, any other creature. Uh, as he's got advantage. Uh, damn. Still rebuffs. Oh. Or was it Nice. Okay. Uh, did you, you have to move you, Actually, to you want you use it after you know the result, right, or before? I don't, I don't care. You can use I it. Think after. It's after. Yeah, it's because it will make a difference. Okay. It's after, right? Okay. okay yeah. Just tell, tell me the result then. Yeah. So he he you failed. Went up to them. <laughs> he failed. <laughs> oh, he failed. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. And, uh, yeah even at advantage. Yeah. Amazing. Cool. Uh, in that case, then, I have a fun thing to do. So he now has to take uh, 2d8, uh, no, 2d10 psychic damage. Okay. Because this is based on a bard roll. Yeah. Uh, Amazing. So 2d10 bardic inspiration damage of psychic. And then also he's incapacitated for the next turn. Okay. Well, uh, oh, the next round. As, that rolled a 1. As he uses that uh, i assume uh, this is the spirit bar table what you use in itself right yes yep so okay. he takes nine points of psychic damage and is incapacitated okay uh he's got hover so you see even though he's incapacitated he stays in the air that's how yep. it works well, unfortunately he can't use attacks actions or reactions yep. till the end of his next turn amazing uh, all right and uh you see as well when you hit him with psychic damage, he seems to be taking less than he should as well. Right, well, that is me not doing anything for the rest of the combat. <laughs> what do you mean? You still you don't have anything All else I do is psychic it. damage. Well, you keep no. the rest of us in the fight, you big moan, yeah. for crying out loud. Okay. <laughs> yeah, now but we... like, you gotta die anyway. Anything else from Sigi? <laughs> no, that's everything. All right, fantastic. So then our camera now moves towards you, uh, sir, Reban. Yeah, yep. uh, Reban. I don't know. Okay, um, just keep saying your uh, name, and yeah. then I'll get it right eventually. Um, please uh, tell us how you look. Reban like. is Reban. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Rev, um, maybe slightly more fun is from where you, from where anybody else would be standing. Reban, Reban is almost almost invisible. He's in dark clothing and pressed flat up against uh, what the one of the walls, and he's just peeking around, very interested in what's going on over there because he's been here a long time watching these two things just sit there. And all of a sudden they're moving, but they're still not talking. Interesting. This look, this bunch look useful. Okay. Um, from where I from where I am in my hidden position, uh, the nearest one is twenty feet up. Is that right? Ah, uh, yes. He seems to be. Can I from... Kind of like a bit uh, still. <laughs> uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I see anything uh, anything on him? Uh, any any material belongings that would be empowering him or allowing any of these things to happen or something that looks significant? Okay. From where I am, uh, I have I have dark vision, etc. Yeah, uh, amazing. Uh, and uh, passive perception, it's absolutely offensive. I will. I want. <laughs> I want. You don't need to roll. Uh, just to keep it simple, but that will use your interaction as you kind of focus on him. He seems to be completely wearing nothing or carrying nothing, like apart from the thin blue robe that we see in the picture. Uh, there isn't anything else on him. Uh, Right, okay. Well, that's interesting. Um, he's, he's Everything about him is, is the magic and the flight all appear to be inherent. They're all uh, abilities, and none of them are magic items. That's good to know. A little disappointing. Uh, <laughs> then kind of 
sliding just slightly further away. Uh, stop to here. What's mm -hmm. that block in beside? Sorry, the black thing with the red edges. Is that just a we can't go through here? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, what is that actually? Is that a portal that actually that happened on the last session, or is that from the very old that you guys did it? That's a wall, no, I think, that Ziggy did to block the exit from that is where you know that there is a portal I... there. I remember. I think. Could be. Maybe I shattered it because I didn't have anything to like make walls back then. Like I do now, but I think I'm guessing yeah. I shattered that entrance. E yeah. Um, e e is still how it was, okay. and it's shattered, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that being the case, I think I'll um, I'll not go that way because I was thinking I could get through there. And then what I'll do is because I'll move up to just almost underneath this guy, and since I'm hidden, I will have advantage. Um, uh, I'll pop out so anybody who's got, who uh, can can see that far in the dark will see somebody who's still pretty hard pretty hard to make out and he will uh, just fling his arms like this and daggers are coming out from under his sleeves okay oh nice and he'll throw and he'll throw two daggers simultaneous uh, two daggers simultaneously one from each hand um, using uh, the bracers that allow me to throw uh, two magic daggers Yay, uh, nice. in instantly, which gives me twice the chance of hitting the bastard. <laughs> Very nice. So, uh, <laughs> dagger, dagger, so, uh, dagger. If, <laughs> dagger, 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 dagger. Amazing. So, uh, off we go with rolling first. Actually, I can. Uh, I'm going to. Should I be whispering these things to not give too much away? Nah, there's no point. Uh, I guess it's no point anymore. But up to you, though. I, I respect whatever you want to do. Okay, fair enough. Then I'm going to say is, and this is going to be with advantage since I am hidden when I do so. So first one is 28 to hit. Yes, sir. 28 definitely hits. Lovely. Then at 20, 28 to hit causes in damage plus. Whoa. Where is. You know, when I'm just clicking on it, it's not actually working, so I'm not getting the damage thing either. Right click and it should come Then I'll. If we're plus <laughs> plus four, 14 sneak attack damage. Nice. It's the first one to hit. Knew it. Yeah, the, yeah, that definitely does. So how much is that total if you don't mind? 23, uh, that's, right? That's 20, 23, and then yep. the second awesome. dagger travels. Oh, I have a picture as well of you. I forgot. Yep. Not, not 20 hits. Wow, amazing. Uh, for... Yes! As you as you do that nat twenty, uh, the other mage that mm. is grappled uh, will do silvery barbs mm. to actually give you a uh, disadvantage as he distracts you for a second. He uses we end up taking already. the fourteen. Didn't he get? Yeah, his he's used his reaction after oh, yeah. that. Though. Yeah. If... Oh, he did. Oh, he's had his turn. Yeah. Yeah, he has his turn. So yes. does that mean we take the fourteen? Um, 14 will miss, unfortunately. Actually, you can roll again. Let's be oh, nice. Yeah, roll again. Okay, roll again. He's wearing honeymoon. <laughs> yeah, you 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 roll again and take is... whatever the lowest is. Mm. Yeah, and it's 13. Then that one whiffs. But all of these daggers, whether they're hitting or missing, uh, they're leaving holes and they're leaving uh, ev uh, evidence of impact behind. But the daggers themselves are vanishing. Yeah. Um. And then from there, it's gonna, he, he, he's still quite, uh, still quite quiet, but you hear him because uh, it's, um, it's a murder. I, I must, no, no, I, uh, you, you, you deal with it, and he'll start backing away, uh, oh, wow. back, back down the corridor behind him. Amazing. And what? and he bonus action hides. Yeah! <laughs> wow, that's so so roguish, rogue. Who the devil was that? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, nice, so go ahead and roll that super stealth check that gonna impress us all in a second. I mean, I, I doubt any of us are gonna be able to see him. He can't get lower than a 24. He appeared and just gone. Gone. Yep. Oof, oof. Yep. 100% gone. Amazing. Cool. 
the that that's me and he's but he's back to observing he's taking in everything again cool Alrighty, uh, after your turn then, uh, then we move to Mr. Yagu! Yay! Okay, Yagu, you see uh, this creature on the air, kind of, so that you saw that is slightly uh, not moving much. Um, the other one just grappled, grappled by, uh, and pinned to the floor by Mr. Moonbear. What would you like to do? Um... First, I'm going to give a thumbs up to uh, Ziki. Uh, keep it, keep him down, and, and I will go to uh, the one actually on the floor. First, okay. okay. Um, got not one and stab me. <laughs> Fine, I will roll. Will, will roll with advantage. No uh, worries. I've okay. Quite a bit of uh, oh, upbeating so far in this fight. Uh, uh, there. One second, sorry for this. I don't know what's going on actually. Is doing something really fucking weird. Mm. I think he's about to crash, I guess. Oh no. Oh crap. Let's hope not. It, okay. it looks to be on the wrong screen. Yeah, but it's just doing. Okay, no, yeah, it's, no. it's, it's fixed now. Yeah, that's fixed, right? Okay, thanks God. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, yeah okay, perfect. Uh, so, uh, please, Diago. Hold this one. Um. I'm actually going to attack first and then I'm going to rage because I realized that if I want to rage there's a chance that I will crit and then I won't be able to crit. Mm. Uh, so I will first uh, do two steps with my swords to uh, the one uh, Bruce is holding. Okay, perfect. So attack number uno. Okay, uh, Oof, you will, hit. I believe you will have advantage toward him uh, because he's restrained. Yeah. yeah, okay, awesome. I have advantage on anything anyway at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, of course. So, uh, fuck, I should... Yeah, tiefling, they just vanished. Yep. <laughs> Bye. You, oh, you know what? There. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to make my free action to see if I can spot you, even though I know I can't. Yeah, there we go. Sure. Interaction, <laughs> if that's okay, yeah. Nope. <laughs> Interaction to... Uh, yeah. Yagu saw the Bruce and Arrow react to someone and go, what are they looking at? Nothing there. Yeah. Jagu looks the wrong way. <laughs> oh, no. I'm not sure what's going on at the moment. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Um, <laughs> so the first attack is an 8 uh, damage, but I'm going to add a little bit of a uh, first level smite to it. Oh, nice. For 13, so 21 damage from attack wow. number Uno. Yeah, amazing. Uh, Radiant seems to be doing as much as he should. Yeah, amazing. Uh, he screams. Uh, actually, he does not do anything. He doesn't react. Amazing. Then second attack, 9 damage and yeah once again just one small uh smite 12 extra damage wow nice a total 21 right yep amazing yeah. and now after my attacks i'm going to rage very counterintuitive but <clears throat> that's just how my thing works and i'm going to use a uh, water panda one okay and i'm going to share my uh rage with ziggy Hopefully he doesn't die. <laughs> One second, I have to roll these two thingies to see if I get anything cool extra. I'm only at half my hit points. That's a joke. Then you're doing <laughs> a good job. <laughs> yeah. I'm slightly uh, over half my hit points. Which two thingies did I roll? Um, oh yeah, good. Uh, yeah, once again, my uh, plus four is now 20 feet instead of 10 feet. Yeah. Amazing. Um, with that, I believe I'm in the center of everyone, so yeah, yeah, everyone, except for whoever that might be. We don't even know he's an ally yet. Can you choose, or is it just like... I, I don't know. Just allies. move one second just to check something. Okay, enough. Sure. Uh, cool. Yeah, but uh, that's uh, where I end my turn. All right, uh, amazing. Um, as you kind of... Uh, End your turn there. Um, one second. You will see that uh, you hear first, you hear it like uh, he, the one that is being restrained by Bruce click his fingers, and then you see that this uh, slab that is there next to you start to glow with magical energy. 
and it pops with lightning damage. I need uh, you and Bruce uh, to make a uh, dexterity saving throws, please. Uh, who do you mean by you? Me also, or who else? Uh, everyone within five feet of this pillar that is underneath Yagu. So I think it's only Bruce and uh, Yagu. Yeah, and Yagu. Uh, you see. Plus four. Yeah, the McDougan mage kind of moves as well, try to avoid the heat. And then he looks staring into your eyes, Bruce, uh, for a second. Cool. Uh, the DC here is actually 15. Doesn't matter for yeah. me. Um, we no. can use advantage. Uh, um, I can't use called? advantage because I'm inspiration. I'm trained. Yeah, I will probably use a. I'll probably use an inspiration point from the party fund, though. So have another wee roll. I will do the same then. Yeah. Okay. So that's two more. Okay, I'm just oh. trying to keep track. Yeah. Thank you, guys. So oh, damn it, fourteen. Oh damn it. Mine is a bit better. Okay. Um, the DC is 15, um, so unfortunately you will fail. I'm very aware. Uh, it's not too much damage. Look, I rolled really shit. Uh, eight points of lightning damage. Uh, or if you see. You see as well, uh, as the lightning hits the mage that you are pinning to the floor, it kind of like doesn't actually do anything to him. He seems to be immune to it. All right, but that finishes the layer and it finishes everything. And we go to top of the round to back to you, Errol. Gotcha. So uh, bonus action, what I'm going to do is uh, use an ability of mine called uh, Nature's Veil. Okay. It's not letting me dis lay the ability for some reason even though i should be able to but i'm gonna see if i could try to copy and paste it somehow but uh, nature's veil is my 10th level ability as a ranger with um i'm just gonna do this yeah so my character is just gonna basically turn invisible so you'll just see streaks of green electricity before Harold is completely naked to or invisible to the naked eye and after that, he just strips off. Errol <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, is going to, while invisible, switch out his shield and back to his bow. And uh, he's going to move 5, 10, 15, 20. You can make a yeah, perception good... check if you want. Okay. All right. Perception. And uh, I'm going to use a group inspiration because I'm too far from Ziggy to do this with advantage um it's not that important or up to you though no. okay oh well then never mind then take the 24 forget the group uh, inspiration you take the you notice the eyes of uh mcdougan mage let's call him lada uh keep following you even though you are invisible oh, that's what i was gonna ask you next so would i still have advantage on the attack rolls i make or uh, would they just you... be normal rolls you will towards him because I think he's grabbed these restraints, uh, but otherwise you yeah. wouldn't. Uh, let's put it like that. So the one that is incapacitated, you don't have advantage on him, but you have it on so the, the one, one that's that flying in the air. Yeah. So that one, uh, the, the, on that one, you have a normal restraint roll. On this one, you will have advantage because he's restrained. Mm. I'd rather risk trying to hit you guys and get my advantage. So I mean, twenty feet. 25, 30 to be within Ziggy's thing, and I can still see him because he's in the air at 20 feet. Yeah, yeah that's right. And now I'm just going to attack with advantage. Well, at least we know that they can see invisibility, which is fine. And uh, this one is going to be a sharpshooter shot. Yeah, nice. And I'm trying to remember this guy, I used favored foe on him before. So do I re-roll the D6? Let me go to the ability real quick. Because it should still be concentrating because I haven't gotten hit with anything. Yeah. Including when you mark it the first time on each of your turns. Yeah, so I just have to roll the D6. Okay, so it's only one. For the extra damage. Okay. Of nice. Yeah. Well, the concentration is like still going, but it's the first time every time I every, hit. Yeah, yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. So let's see here. That's 24 okay. to hit. Yeah, that definitely and, hits. 14 plus 3 plus 10, 27 plus 6, that's 33 for this guy. 
That's yeah. in the air. So that's all piercing, acid, yeah, and sharpshooter damage. Piercing and acid, yeah, those amazing. are piercing yeah. and acid are the only two, yeah. yeah. Cool, cool. So he seems to be taking it as he should. Amazing. Okay, and I'm going to take a second shot at him with Seven. sharpshooter again. Okay, amazing. Let me just make sure sharpshooter's on because I have to turn on every time. Of a roll, Advantage. Ugh, that is... I'm just gonna just whiff it. Yeah, so that's a 15 to hit that whiffs. Okay, 15. Uh, yeah, that will miss, unfortunately. And uh, that is the end of Errol's turn. Okay, um, it just comes to your mind, Errol. This is something that you remember with your passive uh, history, let's call it like that. When you came to uh, Vermilion last, um, your um, planar kind of little device was going crazy. Uh, instead, at the moment, the device seems to be picking up uh, a lot of strong Fey and Shadowfell presence, but it's actually not reacting to any portals. So it just feels very unusual, almost like the, something is changed. Even though the influence is here, something is changed on this place. And that's what you get. Gotcha. That. It's not picking up portals necessarily, but it's yeah. more like it knows that there's yeah, other things still, that are not from yeah, here. Yeah, you still here. feel the influence. So it's kind of like it should make sense that you pick a portal because the influence comes from a portal, but there is no portals here. Mm. That's the weird part. Gotcha. And you remember being a portal to the Feywild on this actually place that is closed. Uh, that's why you actually Siggy, that's why Siggy collapsed it in first place. Gotcha. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, well, that's the end of Earth's turn, yeah. Alrighty, uh, after you, we move to Jamie. I've moved the initiative just so he keeps doing funny things. This one is actually cannot do anything until the end of his turn, so he's done. Nice. Uh, Moonbear, you're next. Uh, I will... Uh... I'd like to stand up so I'm no longer restrained, but yeah. I would still like to grap the grapple going. Okay, so let's do... Uh, hmm. How do we do this? Should, do you think we should do another grapple check, I guess? I'll give you advantage. Well, you have advantage of them, so maybe do that so you to see if you can actually keep him. This will be a free uh, part of your movement, let's call it like that. So it's not an Your attack, thing? it's just to see if you can keep it. As you All change right. positions. Did the trick, Fucking hell. Uh, yeah, I don't think he actually can roll that high. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> yep, you got him. He's grappled. Uh, yeah, amazing. Yeah, I've just got him by like, the scruff of the neck right now. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> just I will... Smoke, uh, I'll just hide myself. But I'm course. here. <laughs> I have a funny feeling that poison damage isn't going to do it against these guys, so I'm going to use, uh, I'm gonna use Gut Wrencher. And uh, I'll attack recklessly. Okay, amazing. So I imagine I'm just like holding the sword and just kind of like with the, the the hilt, just like smacking with it. If I can, if I can hit him, obviously. Yeah. Awesome. I rolled advantage for that. Why didn't that work? Let me Ooh. roll again. No uh, worries. Here's it. Oh, because you rolled two ones. Was that two no, natural ones at advantage? Once. No, I don't know. I don't know what that's I mean, that's what it yeah, says, yeah, but the symbols in the middle look weird. Yeah, they look weird. I did roll like, two you ones, upper, you're right. Yeah. Never mind, yeah. that's bad. I, I, mean, I stab Yager instead, use, I guess. You could Make use a group inspiration, I don't know. I, would like to use, I like to use one of my inspiration points to undo okay. that, if you would be so kind. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Because so the fuck double nat one. <laughs> I'll let you roll again, obviously take the highest. Please don't roll another one, otherwise it's going to be really weird. Yeah. For the 19 then. Yeah, but unfortunately, uh, that will not hit though. Yeah, I still missed, even yeah. rolling with advantage. So oh. let's have another crack at him then. Oh shit, I just rolled a single one now. Here's, uh, here's the second one. Yeah! So 24 to it this time. Yeah, this one will God, hit uh, even through whatever he wanted to do. Uh, 20 rune points of damage. Fuck. Okay, 21 points of damage. Amazing. Yeah. I rolled max damage. 
for there that. is no so blast though pretty, this is you've been hitting them for a while um and you gather why is uncertain but there is then they they're taking the damage it's not that but there is they're not bleeding or bruising okay i'll uh use my i'll use a war priest to take one more swing at them Fuck. amazing yeah <laughs> like hulk yeah non-stop nice Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, wow, yes, go to sleep. look at that. Uh, uh, he used his reaction. Uh, actually, the other one got his reaction back uh, at this point because he had his turn. So he's going to actually cast Silvery Barbs on you. I will counter spell. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> and McDougan has no reaction, oh, I believe. Petty. So, yeah. yeah. He's not <laughs> even going to try. Nice. Natural 20. Go for it. Outstanding. 4d6s plus 6. There we go. Less than the last one. Fucking hell. 14. Whoa. Oh, plus the 3. Four, 14 plus 3 because rage damage. Nice. Damn. So 17 damage. 17 damage. Yeah, yeah. he just kind of... <laughs> first, the first time misses, he just moves his head. Second, and he just keeps bashing him in the face. So, Where are the dwarves? Where are they? Yeah, he's just like blankly staring on your direction. He's with this weird, unnatural, ethereally blue light eyes. That's me done. Cool. Alrighty. Um, okay. Uh, after that, your turn. We move to Miss Fiona Zaros. I love that surname, actually. I, I wanted to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I you know, it. I'm I I'm just like that creative. Well. You know, it's just a, that creative. It's a, it rolls with my accent really well. El Zaros, yeah, it sounds like, like something I should be you saying. You know, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you my secrets one day. <laughs> I'll tell you them one day, yeah. how I come up with such amazing names. <laughs> uh, cool. It was the fantasy generator name thing. Yeah, just, just I random. was going to say, I was yeah, going to Google completely it. Completely fucking random. <laughs> uh, right. Yeah, so, um, Fiona is going to, while still in the air, Looking at the one that sort of bruises down on the ground, I have disadvantage because I'm ranged Ooh. attacks, don't I? I've, I've stood him up, so. It's a torch then. Oh, have you? Okay. Yeah, I'm not. We're not restrained anymore. I've, I've still yeah. grappled them, but I've just stood up with them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, in that case, then I'll guess I'll throw a chromatic orb Ooh. in his direction. Nice. I love that. Oh no, I'm um, scared. Is that I'm instantaneous? Scared. I always come come confuse two spells without. No, it's 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 to hit. It's to hit. Okay, perfect. Uh, so I'm gonna roll the fire damage. Yeah. Why not? Fucking hell! Oh no! Oh my damage. god! I have not. I have not. I have not done a single good fucking attack with this character. Oh, no. Use, use, use one of the group inspirations. There's... I mean, it, it yeah, makes sense. Yeah. I'm gonna she's have from to. Vermilion, she's gonna cursed. Have to. She's from Marion, she's cursed. Okay, cool. Right, another second level chromatic orb. This one better fucking hit. I'm still scared, just so we're aware. Fuck's sake, again! Oh no, fuck. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you haven't rolled above a 10 yeah. on the with die this, with her since you No! Yeah. What the fuck is wrong with. I'm changing these fucking dice. Yeah. Why do I hear that same <laughs> sentence every <laughs> week on Tuesday? Oh, it's, it's Joey who says it. <laughs> oh, no. wow. It's Joey who says it. Yeah. If you're an idiot, you <laughs> need to work on your aim. <laughs> so this is what it feels like to be a viewer of this shit, then instead of yeah. just being the only one. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Uh, Fiona will retort back saying, I'm not used to this, aren't you meant to be? Sass. Yeah, Tiefling. Sass. It's in the name. You just, just gonna just stay in the corner, invisible here. Mm. <laughs> she sees you. Yeah. She does. Oh, she he could see you. He could. Oh. Yeah. Right. Uh, anyway. Uh, potion of heroism. They, those usually do well for me. Those dice. <laughs> yeah. We believe in you. Your dice, come on. I don't. On the bright side, you never had to roll a you never roll a double nat one. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. There's always the bright <laughs> side of mediocrity. And you also missed me as well, which is also a bonus yeah. if you roll traumatic orb. Amazing. Eros. Yep. Anything else, Eros. Fiona? Yeah. Eros. 
Yeah. No, quite literally, she can't do fuck all. Okay. Perfect. A little PTSD thinking here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nine. Cool. Okay. Uh, that We're only is lightly annoying. toasted. Actually, right. wait. Uh, I'm gonna bonus that in a potion of healing. Okay. Good, good call. All right. As these. Amazing. Yeah. As he. Uh, uses uh starts casting a spell uh bruce you see him disappearing from your grasp and appearing here on the air uh also 20 Cow feet spell. up from the yeah, other spell. spell uh he's gonna counter spell her counter spell i can't counter spell that counter spell i'm <laughs> fucked it up no, you, know you know what, what? this is maybe yeah, a hot take but i hate that i can't spell the counter spell for the counter spell for the spell i hate it i don't know oh, i'm sorry do it. i hate it too <laughs> it's <laughs> fine it'll go for it i'm not i'm not wasting more counter spells all right and then from his hands he will start kind of like uh moving like uh doing a hand movement and this one feels like a spell actually um any spellcasters can make an arcana check if you guys want. Um, do I count as a spellcaster? Sure. Oh. Why not? I, well, all of you. I don't really. know if I actually count. Uh, I got spells. A twenty-four for the spell and a dirty twenty. I, I got a, I got a nat twenty. What the? Why are you getting a nat twenty? Fucking hell, yeah. <laughs> because because, he's because, he's because he changed his dice. Yeah. He comes from a generation of phase. That's uh, why. <laughs> I forgot that, definitely. I should you should even have a Wow look at the fucking hell guys. Where were those rolls as they're gonna go? Wow. I only have advantage because I'm ten feet from you. Yeah. Everyone oh, that's the only knows. reason I have that. It's kind of yeah, more. Everyone knows where he's casting. Amazing. Even Yagu. Uh, yep. Yeah, he is actually casting chain lightning. Uh, and as you see, oh, he's uh, the Big evil counter spell. Oh, nice. Okay. And I believe uh, the other one uses Silvery Bards earlier I, on. He, he, did he did, so, so I already yeah. got rid of... Yeah, yeah. that's what yeah. I use my counter spell to get rid of, so... Yeah, yeah. what level are you doing at? Uh, you'll have to roll, because it's a high-level spell. Uh, you will know yeah, with level? the roll, because you roll high, uh, that is a six-level spell, light, uh, oh, chain but, lightning. But, oh, okay, well, I'm not wasting a six-level fucking spell. Oh, actually, no, um, Fiona has a 16 portent, she'll give that to Ziggy, so plus 7, because of Thingy. Oh, nice. How many of those does she get, actually? That's, that's, that, wait, no, actually, sorry, not her portent, Ziggy will use his portent. Yeah, I think that's what I was going to say, that that's so I'll your... give my 16 to myself for Amazing. a total of, yeah, I think, yeah, I think it's plus 7, so 20-something, which Amazing. should counter anything. And it's to any roll, right? Uh... Yes, yeah, 20 roll. Amazing. Any d20. Dream of it being electrocuted. Cool. Today. So you counterspell it to his uh, anger uh, and frustration. Uh, so. Uh, I mean, yeah. Moved, and that's the end of his turn. <laughs> he moved. Uh, I mean, there's not two level sets. Jesus. Yeah. I'm not okay. Uh, after McDougan's mage turn, Ziggy, is your turn. Your go. Okay. Uh, Ziggy's gonna. Oh, that's the wrong character sheet. Uh, Ziggy is going to go for a 6 level mass healing word. And if I have to, I will subtle cast this because it is just verbal. I mean, they don't so, have their um, reaction. They don't need a No, oh, do they not? No, they don't. No, alright, okay, cool. I'll just I'll catch it then. Time. So, everyone within 60 feet who needs healing and is an ally. Gets 44 plus 4 plus a d6. That is fucking abysmal. Uh, would you consider. That is also fucking abysmal. Oh, he's too far. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So seven, everyone eight, gets 15. Nine. Actually, he's not. Uh, would you consider that Tiflin that appeared out of nowhere and shoot this mage your ally, Z actually? Didn't even see him, I don't I, think. I can't yeah. see him. He's stabbing well, the people oh, we're need, fighting. You need a yep. to hear you? No, yeah, you have to see him. Um, actually, wait, no, I, I call up, so I guess six creatures within range, so as long as he can hear me and need healing, 15 points to him. Yeah. 
like does it say friendly or ally creature? Like that's the main important thing about the. Uh, Why did you want to give it to him? Though? Six it upsets creatures of my choice. I don't know him, okay. so no. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was about to say. It's nice. your choice. Yeah. And if cool. if you all fight me on that, I will forget to know I, you. I mean, I'm not giving you shit. I mean. We don't yeah, really no. know he's there. Like, er Errol and Bruce yeah. kind of glimpse someone who Errol and Bruce are the only ones that have an idea. Yeah, but... actually, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, we just saw him just appear, chuck a couple of daggers, and gone. Yeah. What the yeah, hell? Yeah, yeah. I don't think we even got a full picture. I think we just got like a shape, like an outline. We don't know anything after that. Yeah, yeah, no, that's amazing. It's like the mysterious stranger from Fallout. He just. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Just far, vastly less effective. Okay, amazing. Um, God damn, Eddie. Anything <laughs> else from Z? Uh, I'll say, Weird Shadow Man, can you help us? We'll reward you and give you a bad inspiration, Ross. Ooh, and you, thank you very much. How about that one you had to see him to do it? Okay, no. The it's part of hearing. Inspired by his words, just to hear him, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, and cool. this is the kind that I can add to damage rolls, is that right? Uh, spell it's damage. At least spell uh, damage. You can add okay, it. But it's a bit... I don't know. Cool. And you stay where you are, yeah? Uh, yeah, that's not really anywhere I can go. That would be useful. Okay. Awesome. Uh, our, our camera moves towards you, uh, who are hidden there behind the corner. Uh, please, uh, sir, what would you like to do? Tell us what he does. Uh, he's hearing uh, somebody shouting something nice around the corner. That's a very strange feeling. Helping. Uh, and come back around the corner. Uh, I don't. What do, What does one do in, in a situation like this? Uh, and he'll shout to Yogu because uh, he's close enough. And he'll try and describe what, what uh, these guys look from look like from behind, and if they've got Achilles' heels or something, they can actually try and take, take them by, because uh, okay. he's going to provide the help action at range as a Ooh. bonus action. Oh, that's amazing. You can, uh, you can yeah. do that? Yep. He can do that uh, um, from 30 feet away, so uh, oh, that gives nice. advantage uh, on on your next attack, Yogu. And sure. from there, he'll... Uh, <laughs> Revenal kind of looking around but it realizes uh, uh, um, I don't like confrontation and he'll go back and go back around the corner again. Oh, <laughs> nice. Everybody's just confused like what? It's, it's not not my strong set and uh, he'll hide again. Okay, amazing. Just do some um, roll if, just if I can use giggles. The first stealth was it? Uh, mm -hmm. ba -ba 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 -ba. So Ross, it's. Uh, would, would your guy notice that Yagu can't fly? Um, I I can with easily a passive, take with a, <laughs> with a passive perception of twenty five. I think he probably notices an awful lot. Hmm. Hey Ross, <laughs> if you wanted to, you could maybe add that bardic inspiration to your self roll so it's not wasted. <laughs> What I is mean, that, a 10? Yeah. yeah. You can save it for you later. You can save right? it if you yeah. want it to. Save it for your attack. It only lasts 10 minutes, though, that's the thing, so. I mean. 10 minutes in game, so that's yeah, like, that's a lot. what, 70 billion rounds? Yeah. Cool. Uh, so you'll uh, hold, you hold on to it, but it's, um, it's <laughs> actually it's, hiding was then my action, so for my free. Could I have a free interaction again just to try and observe these guys and see? Sure. Um. If I guess I've been in there a long time. I've got this feeling that there is uh, there's something, something off and something you of another realm out. about it. You um, could do it maybe either an arcana or uh, one second. Let me give you another different skill. Or uh, here, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Or is there uh, any insight yeah, check I can make to see if these guys are still these guys or are they playing gone? Actually, okay. no. Sorry. Yeah, that could be are these guys really are these guys really these guys are they here or are these stand-ins because they're not reacting they're taking hits and nothing happens okay so, so you could make an insight but an arcana will give you more i'll tell you that but i'll let you decide well my insight 
has is always twenty or more. So I'll take that because it's guaranteed. Okay. All right. Um, so based, uh, you don't need to roll it. That's amazing. Uh, based on what you saw them, how they reacted when you were spying on them earlier on as well, and how they're reacting now, you don't think uh, these creatures are those dwarfs. These are husks. It feels like they are just doing what they are meant to do, but they're completely emotionless, feeling less. It feels very weird. You okay. are not even then, um, sure I'm, whether these creatures are actually humanoids at all. If I may, um, I will I retcon to add, add one sentence to what I said to Yogu. It's just, you may want to look for who is controlling them. Then I'll leave it at that. Yeah, amazing. Cool, cool. Uh, hiding again. Yeah, alrighty. Uh, Yagu, it's your turn. After you hear that voice, this new ally, this mysterious figure, Oof. yours is a bit confusing. What would you like to do? I actually th think I found him. <laughs> I yeah, can. Yes, you <laughs> did find him. Yeah, you actually know he. You you kind of see like almost like maybe his shoe. If that's okay with you, uh, Ross, maybe. Um, uh, which kind of shoes is he wearing? If you can actually uh, tell us. Oh, oh, you're you on mute. Um, extremely well-worn, kind of soft leather shoes for being as quiet as possible. Mm, yeah, they're nice. very, they're well, well used, and if they're sticking out, they're uh, they don't match the rest of this outfit. Yeah, amazing. Maybe it's the moss to your Yago. You kind of detect because the moss is kind of like his shoes are kind of deep yeah. into the moss. Moss is somehow helping you, uh, and he kind of yeah, like, no, you um, feel a twinkle somewhere as well. After hearing that whisper, Joker will turn to his shell. Mossy, you you can speak. And Mossy clearly like, no, dude, he's over there. Look, and he, yeah. oh, <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, that makes it's more sense. Almost um, like a piece of moss stands from him, like appendix, you know, and point. That would be so cool, like leaves, you know, like a mossy growth. One second, amazing. After what I'm about to do, I'm not sorry. Um, oh, no. First of all, Joku will uh, do a combat roll, starts rolling forward. Um, as he do that, um, the camera kind oh, of no. crops like from a, a Midwestern, where we have a bl uh, black bar on top and bottom. Um, he will pull out um, his newly bought revolver. Oh, yeah. um, I will oh, point no. it towards the top one, and uh, Joku will say, It's Haiku! Oh, nice. Bro, he has a gun! A who, gave, who gave the truffle a gun? <laughs> I mean, I think it's very useful in this situation. It's very mediocre. He wow. has a gun! <laughs> I don't think the rage works with this. I... Yeah, I, mean, I think, no, no, I think rage, rage is all the way in melee, actually, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I think right? so, yeah. So do minus the two, but... Um, yeah, still... Uh, eight. And we, it's radiant damage as well, yeah? So it's 8 damage. Yeah. <laughs> Impact with this uh, kind of unholy light. Go ahead. Uh, holy light, sorry. Go ahead, look. Yeah, I, I couldn't change it all to radiant, so it's technically just a re, re remapped spear on a yeah. dome brew. Okay. But it, it, works. It, it does the job. That's fine. That's perfect. Uh, thank you very much for doing that for us. Uh, um, yeah. Cool. Yeah. He seems to be doing as much damage as he should. And yeah. Blonde with radiant. Uh, almost uh, he sounds like a celestial sound for a second as well. Instead of a proper boon. It's like. It sounds like almost like a, an organ from a church for a second. Amazing. It's actually the song of I know if any of you have played Worms, where you had the Hallelujah grenade. It's so crazy. Wow. Sure. Hallelujah. Second attack. Amazing. Is that not a great gun? 21. Does it require you to load? No, is it just... no, it's magic. Oh, I don't it, think so. It, it's fully it just magic. requires okay. prayer. It requires okay. prayer. It, it's like the guns in your game. Okay, never mind. Yeah, yeah. It's it's just, uh, amazing. Hits as well. Uh, and then that will be 10, right? This time. Yep. Awesome. Cool, cool. Remind me um, again and then... to which one again, sorry? Uh, just to so uh, The, the top one. Yeah, perfect again. Yeah, perfect. Cool, cool. 
Uh, don't know if this will make any difference, but... Um... Uh, wait, let me check. Yeah, no, fuck it. Uh, maybe we'll stay there and... Rolling yeah, on your perception. Yeah, okay. Cool, cool. Uh, rolling in your perception from earlier on. As you hit him this time, you see uh, flakes of it. Almost like it starts to crumble. Like he was made out of a stone. That doesn't make any sense. And pits fall. <laughs> like he's black. Kind of like sad. Well, rumble. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, they might be rock people, not sure. You, uh, you used everything, so I'm gonna leave it at that. Keep it in yep. mystery. Coco, cool, cool. uh, anything else from Yagu? Uh, Movement? No. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, maybe over here in case of another lightning, whatever. Okay, perfect. Everyone is in range, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, except for random deepening. Yep. All right. Uh, at the end of your turn, just like before, you hear like a, a little rumble. One of them clicks their fingers, and this slab there uh, starts to glow with arcane magic, <laughs> and explodes into lightning. I need uh, invisible arrow, Fiona mm -hmm. and Bruce to make the dexterity saving throws. Is Fiona still within range of it? She's in the air, about ten feet. Oh, yeah, so I'm yeah. not sure. If ten that feet in the air. Uh, she is flying. Yeah. I don't okay. know. It's Make a payroll to see how high high the slab should be five feet, but maybe she can get it. Is it this one here? Uh, no, it's this, uh, it, this it, it one. He means this one. That one. Yeah, yeah she should be safe because they've got to be within five feet of the slab. She's ten feet away. Uh, that's the thing. That's uh, the payroll would determine how high the slabs are, so go ahead, look. Because we haven't really. Describe it. Uh, hi. Ignore this eight, though. Yeah. So yeah. Reroll. Yeah. No, it's not. Sorry, it needs to reroll because because the eight. Eleven. Nope. No. Never mind. I'm just not taking the eight off. It's just. Okay. It'll stay there. So right, no, yeah. it's it's high enough. Yeah. Perfect. So yeah, it does not hit her. So just you and uh, Bruce and Harold. You have advantage. No, no, it, no it, it is high enough. It, because I, I failed the fight roll. It's meant to be a three. Oh, oh really? Oh, shit. Okay, so then yeah. unfortunately, uh, he will hit her too. So deck saves from all of you, please. From, well, three of you. That one from Fiona. Uh, oh, no. 17 from Harold. Damn. Okay. Plus four. Oh, plus four, so that's 21 for Harold. Yeah, amazing. Actually, wait, no, I don't have the plus four. I'm out of your aura, and aren't no, no, I? No, no, It's 20 feet now. Oh, then yeah, never mind. 21. 21 for Harold. Yeah, amazing. Uh, so 21, that's a success. Unfortunately, Fiona mm -hmm. and you as well, uh, Bruce, you both fail. So you will take the force, the full 17, and you, uh, Errol, will take half, that is eight. Lightning okay. damage as the pillar explodes again. Uh, well, that doesn't explode, it just glows with arcane magic and goes wild. Cool. And that will be this turn. Uh, after that, we go back to the top of the round with you, Errol, on round three now. Yeah, so Errol is uh, going to be uninvisible because uh, he's now visible. And okay. uh, realizing that the whole invisibility shtick doesn't work, oh, he's no. just going <laughs> to just do what he does and uh, sharpshooter the... Um, one right in front of him right here. He's going to take an arrow shot at him. Okay. Advantage because Ziggy. Oh, thank God. So that one, here's the thing. He's also favored foed. So I'm going to roll the favored foe damage right now, which is normally a 1d6, but it's a 2d6 because crit. Sure. I'm on your sin. So that, wow, favored foe, you're really letting me down here. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> So, I'm trying to think of how the math is. So, there's it's pretty much piercing and acid, so which I think we've established. So, it's 26 plus 8, that's 34 plus 2, 36. Oh, okay. so that's 36 damage to this one. 36 damage. Uh, that's a bit much. Uh, I'm going to ask you to reroll as one of them casts uh, this one here, cast Silvery Barbs. 
Okay, I mean, that's fine. Yeah, sure. I'll reroll the attack then. Give me one second. Um, Sorry, uh, I should have let you counter. No, 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 hey, no, I, I don't have any slots to counterspell it with, so that's uh, just a... Uh, oh, wait, no. Remove five from that because it didn't take in sharpshooter, so that's a 19 to hit. Yeah, that will. It's a yeah, 19. Yeah, that will. So they will do silvery barbs, yeah. Wait, two oh, silvery that, barbs? No, no, oh, it's this. Okay, nine. Oh, sorry, I thought you meant the previous roll. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, that will hit. Uh, yeah, and he's not gonna use his reaction. To do a shield. Yeah, there, so that's, that's fine. 12, okay, so that's 12 plus 3 plus um, 10, so that's 25. And let me roll the favored foe because that should have been damaged anyway. The favorite foe is six, so 25 plus six, that's 31. It's not wow. much of a difference. Yeah, amazing. 31 to him, yeah. Fuck, he... Lots of... Uh, now you don't need to make perception checks. Whoever is within 15 feet of them, that I think is almost... Uh, the majority of you yeah, see pieces of him crumble out, like almost like black dust. I should have... Thank you. Okay, so he's still alive. So I'm just going to take another shot out of him. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. I'm going to include the sharpshooter this time. Then we get an accurate representation. Um, so that is 24 to hit for 25 damage. Wow. Again, more dust keeps falling. These things are getting really annoying to try to kill, and um, that is actually enough, Errol's gonna move. Enough dust mm -hmm. falls oh. for you to actually perce perceive something. Uh, make a perception check. Okay. Uh, perception, perception, advantage because Ziggy, thank you. That's a twenty-three. You see a part of their uh, body that wasn't there before, as part of the tunic falls and crumbles. Uh, on the on the knee, one of them has a tattoo of a, a symbol that you recognize. Is the symbol of Takisis? Well, Tiamat, the Dragon Queen. They have the Dragon Queen on their knee. She's somehow involved in this. Maybe that's why they're so hard to kill. So five, ten, and uh, that is going to be the end of Harold's turn. After that, amazing. Cool, cool. Uh, as you say that, they don't really react, but they just both stare in your direction as you say her name almost with joy. Uh, it, uh, they don't express anything, but yeah. Okay, uh, this one here. Oh, dearie. Oopsie doopsie. Um, so he will uh, extend his arms out, start moving them and lightning will shoot out from them uh, I need uh, yeah he can hit either yeah he's gonna hit going down below this way so yeah he's gonna hit uh, so Ziggy, Bruce and Errol uh, please uh, make um, Anjagu actually yeah Anjagu uh, make uh actually not ziggy i can either choose jagu or ziggy uh who has been more damaging i guess ziggy is oh, yagu, actually. yeah i think jagu yeah okay so yeah yeah so can bruce i don't know oh say it again i'm just wondering if he can hit three of us with a five foot wide uh he's 10, ten foot, foot, he's foot he's wide yeah. yeah 10 feet wide oh my yeah, god yeah. never mind so yeah uh bruce uh Harold and jagu uh deck saves please as this lightning erupts from his arms his hands plus four sure any run nice 29 yeah nice uh 16 is um uh, is yours yagu and that's how many inspirations do we have left i think we have four or three two two only Mark two. used Fuck one you, earlier on that I don't know why he used because he'd already passed the save or a roll. <laughs> Let's say because that the that previous roll were all count. 17, so yeah. I'm a, I, I know, I know. I just wonder why you still present, you, you, you committed to using it after Cisco said yeah. the DC's a 15. <laughs> no, I re-rolled after he said he was 15. <laughs> okay. But okay. 
Um, I'm almost full health. Just take the damage. Yeah, okay. So 44 points of damage to Yagu, 22 for the rest of for the two of you. Lightning. Uh, so you're you take in the end 22 and you bruised yeah. half to whatever. 11. Yep. Mm. Yeah. Cool. Yep, yep, yep. Amazing. And then with that, uh, he will look towards you, Ziggy, kind of like uh, thinking that you're gonna dispel, like you keep dispelling everything, and Fiona as well. So there, he will focus his force attacks to do two attacks on each of you to try to bring you down a little bit, as uh, he's finding it quite annoying. And Errol as well, but he only has, let's do two on two. Actually, one attack on Fiona, one attack on Errol, two attacks. Actually, fucking who is counter spelling? Who knows? All right. Let's do it, Ladao, as I already <laughs> said. Two and Ziggy, let's start with that. Uh, two, Coming up. Okay. okay, so... Wow, that's 216, so 25... 25? To hit, uh, yep. as he hits you, it will be 14 points of lightning damage on each, so 28 points of lightning damage for two attacks. Alright, Fiona? Yep. Uh, this die only rolls 16, so I can see that's a bit <laughs> unfair. Uh, also will be a hit for Fiona, so she will take 14 points of lightning damage and a 15... Uh, she to... will Ooh. absorb elements. Oh, nice. Amazing. How does that look like as she absorbs it? That's okay with you. I think that gives me... Sorry. I'm How does it look like uh, if uh, it is okay? Does she... Uh, one second. Is that for the turn now? I have resistance for the turn. Hmm? No, you absorb oh, turn, yeah. damage from the attack. Yeah. And then you you, you hold yeah, the energy until you make yeah. a yeah, yeah, attack. Yeah, so I, I have resistance till the end of my next turn, though. Well, yeah. till the start of my next turn. Oh, amazing. That's very good. So he'll do that on uh, she'll do that on the first attack. So she has four points of extra damage. However, she halves the damage. So what was the first lot of damage? So 14. 14, so that's 7. 7, yeah. And then 7 on the second yeah. one. Nice. Yeah, so... Yep. Very cool. Um, then... But, um, yeah, at, she, um, as she opens her book, she just uh, instantly turns to a page and it sort of rips itself out and just kind of uh, forms a, a sort of large shield uh, in front of her. Okay, yeah, that's fantastic. And then that will... And then it just magically reappears in the book. Oh, wow, cool. And I think that was it uh, for everyone, right? Uh, you saw the attack, Errol, uh, you took the damage, and yeah. Uh, cool, cool. All right. Uh, Bruce, How much damage did I take? Uh, 14. Oh, yeah. From... Sorry. 14 lightning as well. Okay. Cool. Good. And that will finish his turn. Uh, once more, you keep seeing they keep crumbling and crumbling. It almost feels like he's not stopping now. Uh, Bruce, you're next. I'm going to do a wisdom save, actually. I need to see just do something first. Yeah, I'm up for that. Wow. Yeah, he's fine. Yeah. You, he's fine. He's even fine. though all the memories keep haunting you and coming back, uh, everything is good. And you well, now someone you... mentioned... Mm -hmm. Someone mentioned Tiamat. Yeah. So, um, I will... <laughs> as you I'm get close, you see the tattoo. On before. You see the tattoo now, yeah, almost so close. He flies... Yeah, he flies into the air. Brandishing Gut Wrencher. He's going to roll recklessly. With an 18. Yeah, that will definitely hit. Outstanding. That's uh, 13 slashing damage. Go again. And you're hitting Jamie, right? Uh, yeah, the one directly in front of me. Because yeah, yeah, he was the most banged up. Amazing. I've been pelting the guy with arrows for a while, so... Yep, yep, yep. Uh, I'm gonna add... my... Wait. Who's the attack? Oh yeah, I'm gonna add my guided strike to that to make that a 25, because... Nah. <laughs> nice. That is uh, 19 damage. Okay, as you hit this creature with this damage, you, with your battle experience, know that he's about to die. Even more, you also know he's going to explode. Please describe to us how you killed him. 
as he scrambles, um, he will crumble into dust at the end of it and explode. That dust will explode. Could I could I throw him to the ground <laughs> so I don't get hit by it? Uh, <laughs> or is that going to take me an action? You will know. Because I was going to flavor it, he grabs him and yeah, throws him to the ground. But. You can flavor it and do it, but you know just based how big he is, if all the dust that he contains explodes into this area, it's going to be hard to not to be hit by it. But I'm happy with flavor, whichever. Way. All right, I'll do something different. He, he rushes towards him. He, he rams the, the sword through his torso, reaches for his neck, and goes, "Why oh, are you not using that?" And he rips out his throat along with his tongue and throws it. Amazing. And then I'm assuming he you know, blows up. Yeah, as he does, you see from the gash that you're opening his neck, all this powder keeps coming out and pouring out and and kind of extending to the whole entirety of this main dining cave slash bedroom, whatever it was, and you as well, where you are uh, Riven um, as well. Uh, so I need all of you to make uh, intelligence saving throw as this dust seems to relieve all your worst nightmares that you ever had in your life. Everything is like so painful and you hear the scream uh, of something that you will recognize, uh, Bruce, uh, and that's why you will have disadvantage on this uh, safe, as you recognize <laughs> Nidalia's voice. With the so I... wait, so who else is it affect? It affects Revan, Bruce, and everyone else, or yeah, everyone on the on the room. Uh, and every, every, make a wisdom okay. saving throw again, uh, Bruce. Actually, let's let's make it like that, just to not. To be I too thought it was an intelligence save. Yeah, no, Plus just four. to see if you if that is too much for you to bear, as we've been rolling on these wisdom saves things. All right, still that, with yeah, disadvantage though. No, not not this one. This is a straight one. Oh, um, Christ! I don't know why I rolled then. Um, so the first die was a nine. The second die was a yeah. So it's still a sixteen. So 15, no, it will be 15 plus, you roll 15 plus 7, so 22 will be with this uh, norm. I know actually it will with be the first, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah, so I mean, that's why it's still a 16. Yeah. So I'll say 16 is enough. You manage to kind of like not freak out completely, so it will be uh, intelligence save, just normal. Oh, okay. So I'm probably still going to fail, though. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I still fail. No. Okay, and that kind of makes sense, I guess. Uh, so, psychic damage for 22 psychic damage to anyone who say who failed. The DC is Remember, 17. We're, hey, we're resist, all resistant resist to that now. Well, I mean, I don't know. If... <laughs> I, yeah. I know, I know. But I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> he, just, he just blew up. It doesn't matter. He doesn't get a say in it. It's like, yeah. hooray, we resist that. <laughs> I was thinking uh, the other day, actually, is it a thing as double resistance? If you're resistant to a damage, you're resistant to a damage. No. It's not such a thing no, as double. No, I don't, right? think, yeah, I don't think it stacks. Okay, okay, I don't okay. think so. so then, yeah, it doesn't. It? All right. So then to, il, for all of you um, who, independently, so 22, 11, you guys figure it out, please. <laughs> it's yep. too much math. Yep, yep. Uh, and okay. what did you get also, R R R Riven? Uh, yeah, you are fine. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Awesome. Uh, well, okay. If I got a 19, did I succeed? Yes, or, you did. So or 23. 17. Is okay, so same. 11 halved. So 11 halved. Yeah. That'd be five. Okay. Yeah. So maybe Amazing. Cool, cool. Uh, Bruce, you're on a roll. And what else? Mm -hmm. Uh, uh Revan is not called Revan, okay. War, war. Or, so it's Revan then, yeah, okay, cool. No, I'm saying we're calling him Revan now. It's yeah, just, no, no. No. <laughs> it's just because Ru it reminds uh, me of Ruin, Ruin, so I keep saying it like that. Yeah. I'm gonna why. use War Priest for my uh, to bonus action, one more attack with Gut Wrencher. Okay, perfect. Because he doesn't like, he did not like that, did not like that at all. There we go. Also. Oh no! We... No, nope, there goes Ross. No, no, no worries. Oh, no. There he is. Okay. okay, cool. He's back. Yeah. And for some reason, it did not roll with advantage. Why did not roll with advantage? Yeah, this thing with right, advantage. Roll again. Advantage, I'm sorry. 
<laughs> Two straight rolls on the turn, yeah. Unbelievable, I still it's... missed. No! Okay. Uh, turn fuck. over. Damn it. Alrighty. Uh, anything else from you, Bruce? Nope, turns over. Alright, uh, Fiona, you are next. Uh, yeah, so one of them's dead now, right? Yes, uh, only yeah, the one okay. that was supposed to be McDougan before remains. The other yeah. one is dead, and this one is very crumbly as well. Uh, you wanna, uh, do you want to make a religion check to see if you recognize the symbol, actually? For a second level, it's better fucking work. I swear to God, though, Fiona, Fiona is getting deleted. Maybe She'll have advantage because the name was mentioned, so... She will kind of put two and two together, probably. Double mat one, double mat one, double mat one, double mat one. Fuck you, Andy. Oh, don't, don't do that to Lord, come on. Fire damage. <laughs> Thank fuck. Yay! Whoa. 24 to hit. Okay. Uh, it didn't roll the fucking damage. What yeah. the fuck is wrong with this? Well, all the religion check, but it's fine. Uh, he hit, so. Yeah, you still get damage. your free religion check, so. Yeah. Uh, there it's dying. 26 points of damage. Fire. Okay. Yeah, Burn amazing. it to the ground. Yeah, it ignites with fire damage as you kind of like, and more dusk is falling more and more. Is that not good enough? Yeah, unfortunately, not no. enough yet. Oh, it's okay. Hell. We're making progress. We're, we're, we're scratching them down. You know, we're chiseling them. You know, we're doing the give them the old one two with the chisel. Cool, cool. Uh, anything else from Fiona? No, she has nothing else. Or oh, actually, wait, they're, they're completely resistant to, um, or immune to lightning, right? Yes, they are. Yes. Yeah, then don't don't worry about it then. You, you've still got that religion check to make with advantage. Yeah, yeah but what's that gonna do? Well, let's find out. More I just wanna know if she knows who it is. I'm just curious now. Dragon hey! so. Yeah, look at her. She I broke her curse. Yeah, she knows 100% sure. Throw yeah. her off a cliff. Even more so because you told her the story and everything. It kind of makes sense. So, yeah, I forgot that part. Amazing. Cool, cool. Uh, and after her turn, uh, if she's done, we move to Mac Dugan. Uh, Mac Dugan will try to charge Mage, Mage Dugan, I should call him. Mage Dugan will try to charge That's his... pretty good, actually. Yeah, nope. Mage he, Dugan. Yeah, Mage, 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 Mage Dugan. Mage Dugan fails, yeah, to charge. And now he will try to do something bad and evil. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, how much does that do? Eh, eh. Yeah, this one is... Yeah, that this one is better. Okay. Uh, he hasn't used this one, actually. They can do it both times. Uh, you'll see he will start uh, moving his hands in the air and... Casting a familiar uh, spell that some of you already recognized the other one casting uh, before. Uh, as lightning starts coming out of his hands and he will use uh, a spell. Uh, you guys will know he's casting Chain Lightning again. Yeah. Oh dear. Oh dear. I can't counter spell it. Uh, for the love of God, Joey. I'll do I it. used up my third level slots already. It's uh, always an excuse. I'll, I'll do it. It's fine. Right. He will <laughs> uh, last third level slot, Ziggy will subtle counter spell. Oh, nice. Yeah, I was going to say he's going to try to cut the spell you, but if you're subtle, there is nothing of that happening. Yeah. Amazing. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so he gets counter spell again. Damn it. Uh, uh, actually, do I need to roll it? Because what level are you casting it at? Yeah, it always will be at six yeah. level, so yeah, you will need to roll it. Right, well, I'm going to have to roll it then, so I need a... I think I need a nine or higher. Nine, yeah. Oh, sick. Yeah, your, your, your thing is five, right? No, it's seven because of Jack of all trades. Oh, okay. We've got two group inspirations left if you fail, if you fudge the first one. Fucking hey, hell, I do. That's not good. Roll it then. Uh, group inspiration. Uh, yep, okay, use that. Group inspiration. Wait, you're doing it with a plus five, though. You should do it with a plus seven. Why is it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Hmm. So it's just not, do, think, do it. If you do it 20, again, I have to do it. Beyond 20 is foot. It is. True. It's right. also been hitting me with the issue. Yeah, so. You know, I'll just roll on on the be on this side, but on the yeah, twenty two. Nice. Here we go. Yeah, that here we go. So yeah, his spell is counter spelled. Uh, 
Amazing. Uh, and in anger and frustration. And he's, he's, he's not aware that I did it. It just yeah. sort of fizzled out. Yeah, he kind of looks at his hands for a second a and to his tattoo, you know? Like, that's how he reacts to it on his knee for a second. Like, what's going on? My power has been taken uh, away, you know? <laughs> kind of thing. Um, and nope. then... Oh, um, okay. Ziggy... So, all right, Ziggy will do something, though, while that happens. Then he just says, you suck to him, to him. That's it. He, he doesn't imply he was the one who can't spell it, but he makes it very much aware he did do that. Yeah. All right. Uh, frustrated, uh, Mage Dugan will place himself uh, kind of like here in the middle, uh, using a kind of misty step uh, and put himself in the middle. Uh, cool. And that will finish his turn. Ziggy, you are next. Um, gonna kill him. Gonna kill him. Um, get over a chromatic orb. Oh, okay. I don't Burn. think a psych yeah. I don't think a psychic with bottom is gonna do much. So, uh, second level psychic. Uh, yeah, second level chromatic orb. Uh, really? 17 to hit? Ah, uh, 17 will hit. Yay! Yep. Just. And that is 17 points of damage. Okay, uh, as you do the 17 points of damage, he looks super wounded, like pieces keep falling off him, but he's still got a tiny bit left there. 17 wasn't full enough to kill him. Sorry for that. Uh, and in that case, I'll say, we can fucking end this. Somebody do it fucking quickly. And, uh... Ziggy's gonna... kind of move into the back corner, I guess, like here. Just to kind of get out of the space. Okay, um... Just I think he's gonna take a health potion as well. Make a he... Actually... Pfft. I'll just give you this. You think to yourself, that is not enough. You need to go further back away. Will be not affected if he explodes. Okay. Yeah, he'll he'll just go a bit further back there then. Okay. Just out of the radius. Yeah, perfect. Because there's a lethal wall blocking him. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, he's heal uh two d two uh two d four plus two, but uh, with a healing potion though. Seven. Okay. That's, awesome. Yeah. All right, and you hear that uh, as this. Uh, person says that uh, Revan uh, someone killed him what would you like to do? Uh, just to make sure I didn't miss anything the one closest to me now is no longer there yes I'm um, taking off the, uh, the, the board yeah, is, that as, like a, uh, is, is, is there any evidence of it? is it a pile of dust now? Or he something? just or exploded and then as he died all this dust kind of went everywhere and everyone took psychic damage and heard the voice of uh, of the dragon queen actually of uh, like an unusual voice that uh, the guys recognized in Nidalia uh, specifically for you it just sounded like a weird uh, unusual voice scream and you should have taken some psychic damage there as well yeah, uh, yeah, I saw that. You've, 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 you've succeeded, uh, so you, you got that. Yeah. And now the other one is uh, flew so into the middle and it's kind of like still 20 feet up in the air on the middle of the chamber. Yes. Um, yeah, okay. Then um, seeing that that's what's going on and um, and the, 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 the one that remains is looking very rough, I think uh, Revan will come out remaining some distance away and he'll okay. he'll come out he'll 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 come out uh, and you'll get your first good look at him i would say um as he comes out you can see uh his his tiefling head is quite distinctive because he's he's got violet skin and orange eyes and his horns are quite distinguished as horns go uh, nice. they kind of they uh they're quite they're quite symmetrical and, and quite small, so um, they're not imposing or intimidating in any way. But despite his clothes clearly being really pricey and well made, there's nothing remarkable about them. They're dark colours, blues and blacks, um, and he's travelling very light. It seems he only has a small pack of provisions with him. 
Um, he's got good good posture and he looks very self assured, but he's uh, just standing there. Um, mm -hmm. He's almost he's, he's looking pretty confident. He's got very well looks like well practiced manners, and he just stands there with his hands clasped behind his back, waiting to waiting for this all this this horrible ordeal to end. Uh, but uh, having no intention of doing anything about that himself. Oh no. Um. <laughs> um. You would allow me. I would ask anybody who's looking in that direction who can see him uh, well enough. Um, can make a uh, a perception check or has anyone who has a passive uh, above fifteen. Uh, my passive perception seventeen. Mm-hmm. Would you say you're close enough to see him, or you have dark vision? Yeah. Uh, sufficient. I, yeah. I, I have dark vision up to 60, so I'd say 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30. I'd then say as he's, yeah. as he's standing there, you can see he's got, he's got definitely, can, there's something heavier about both of his forearms, which might account for where the daggers were coming from, but there is also kind of a pattern across the back of his hands and kind of slightly up one side of his neck that looks to be. Uh, stuck on or painted on um, something something shiny and metallic about it as it doesn't quite fit with the um, distinguished gent kind of air he's giving off and, but he's, he's standing there patiently observing everybody um, as one would amazing uh, why don't you actually make a, either in history check or insight at advantage just to figure that out something that would be very beneficial to your to you let's see based on the information you know somebody, and yeah you somebody making it about me no no you yourself making about some information yeah. is for you to recall information or figure out the detail just before you make a full decision oh Okay, he's doing all sorts of mad things. I only hit that button once, wow, but um, fuck. Okay. that was an insight, insight of 30. So, Revan, yeah. you get that um, knowing what you know, uh, you know these people are partners on the mine with the dwarves. And potentially for you to come across as a, a good ally will be something really beneficial for you on your general mission, uh, knowing how how good at fighting they are uh it kind of reminds you almost of your group that i forgot the name i'm sorry uh the name devil killers yeah yes. uh, the devil killers yeah and <laughs> you think to yourself if you were to take this skill that would be something that would make you look really good in front of them that is something you will want to do potentially but i'll leave it to you to fully mm -hmm. then decide knowing that information because i don't want to force any uh action on you it's just more like what your character will pick it out okay um well knowing that uh is i would i would imagine he would he would per perceive this but he will can hold the front uh, and continue to stand continue to stand there almost uh, almost at attention waiting for everybody else to okay. to notice him and to come and talk to him yeah, amazing. Uh, I will say that you as well, Bruce, uh, noticing Fiona as well. So all of you who are reasonably, I'll say Yagu, even the most is illuminating the chamber a little bit. It's not pitch black, so you see a silhouette there as well. But yeah, um, do you want to hold an action or do anything? Do you want to dodge even? Uh, that will give you advantage on saves. Mm. Uh, dexterity. That is actually a stellar idea yeah i'll yeah. i'll hold i'll hold uh or take take dodge in case anything were yeah. to come in this direction obviously. yeah just in case uh actually it won't be give you advantage on intelligence save but okay cool cool uh Yago, you are next then if you stay there where you are uh, and you all do you see does any of you say anything to this figure before his turn ends let's just put it out there. Before we move, no, together. I'm too focused on the thing that's still alive right now, so Bruce is barely holding it together right now. Okay, awesome. Uh, and the same for you. Uh, you say anything or Fiona towards that figure, or you just? Uh... Uh, no, I don't think I don't think so. Okay. Also, you're, you're meant to be Fiona's voice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but uh, <laughs> damn it, come on. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Uh, Yago, you're next. Sure. Once again, Yago will give me a second. 
Really? Wow, like, he's yep. rotating around. This is why you're paying me for, right? Okay, yeah. he will tumbleweed uh, in front of him, and yep. once again, uh, it's Haiku. Yay. Yeah, Yagu. Yeah, yeah there's a nut <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Whoa, what the fuck? It keeps running. What did you do? Fucking hell, Luke? yeah, what's happening fuck? there? Yeah, damn, that's what happened shit. to Ross. I did Ross fuck all. Okay, well, then it's rolled four right times. Yeah. ED Beyond is fucked beyond yeah. all recognition. Yep, yeah. damn it. Okay, well, um, on those. Yeah. So. So the, so how is that? The first one was the crit or the second one? I don't know anymore, actually. The like second... it rolled twice in a row after I rolled the first net 20, then it re-rolled it again, and then it rolled an extra d6, so I have Fuck. no idea what's okay. going on. Alright, so the first one... Okay, one, is 15, one is 15 damage, or 13, and one is... That's slightly more. <laughs> okay, Only do you want to put an X might on which one, actually? Wait, can I smite with this gun? No, right. Oh, yeah, sorry. I, I thought you could reach smite. This, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, so, you so like, can, but... not not 5e paladins can can smite yeah. with range. Yeah, then you're 2024, right? Oh, okay. Never mind. Sorry about that. Nevertheless, okay. um, so, yeah, go ahead, Diago. In that case, um, yeah, minus the rage, it should be 27 damage. With the first 28. hit, yeah, with the first hit, oh. you see he crumbles almost in half, and you know I'll give you that because I don't want you to waste more resources. That with the second hit, as you hit with the crit, you don't even need to use a smile, a smite. Uh, you can describe to us how you kill this creature that is gonna crumble into dust and explode as well. Oh, I already described how good as a tumbleweed forward, and he, yeah, he, yeah. he overwatches <laughs> it, yeah. Amazing, yeah, and as he does that, boom, again, the same thing, you all hear the scream in your minds again as this creature starts to explode into dust, I need uh, everyone except Sigi uh, to make uh, intelligence saving throws. Um, could I instead go back to where I was standing, so uh, our Tiefling has a plus four as well? <laughs> sure, yeah, yeah. Is that a standard roll for me, or a disadvantage? Um, just let's roll on your wisdom save because I don't want to be unfair. So, so you I'll, I'll still wow. do the intelligence save. It's fine. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Natural twenty. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Look at those rolls. That's amazing. That's what we want to see. You know what, Luke? I'm still proud of my natural twenty. Your twenty-two is different than my twenty-two. I mean, that's a twenty-four because of Yadu. I got, oh, I got... well, it, mine's a 26 then, because of Yag. Well, actually, no, it's 26 for both of us, but still. Yeah. My 26 oh. is different than your 26. I got nine. You know what? Are both you... of you don't get the plus four. Oh, no, no. <laughs> How about that? Happy oh. now? <laughs> I mean, no. You've ruined it for everybody. <laughs> Do you want to give yeah. the plus four to uh, Revan as well? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So then you are, I see you as a friendly in... creature. So then you are fine, Revan. Uh, you success that this is 17, so you all you succeed, all of you, I think. Okay. Nice. I don't. Oh, yeah, you don't, damage. unfortunately. Uh, well, but you're a six. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's five damage for everybody. Well, except yeah. Revan. Yep. Because okay. it's psychic, and then we're yep. resistant, uh, and it's yeah, after it. Fiona isn't resistant? Yeah. Oh, well, Fiona, Fiona takes the full 10 then. Yeah, she takes the full 10. And at that creature explodes, uh, I think this will be a good place for us to take a little break as we will continue sure. with more a uh, bit of a conversation and see what happens after this. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Thank you to all my amazing players once more. And we will be back in a little bit. Don't go anywhere. See you soon. Bye bye. See you in a bit.
Alrighty, and we are back. Yeah, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for hanging around, and I hope you're enjoying the adventure as much as we are. As we, our heroes, just annihilated these mages, uh, and without having to make any inside checks at this point, you guys figured out uh, what is happening here. Uh, somehow, the scales are involved on the disappearance of the dwarves. And then, as soon. Yeah, I'll leave it to you as guys. As soon as they go down, yeah. as soon as they go down, Bruce is going to ignore Revan, go straight to like the nearest pile of dust and start raking through it. He's going to cast detect magic for some kind of clue as to what they are, what they are, or where they came from. It's anything. Okay. I know that's not going to nothing's going to happen. Nothing's going to happen. But um, I think it will be a good frantic. thing. Uh, as you're using a spell, I'll give you advantage on the check that will be to figure it out. How is that sound? I'm not sure. I don't know what the check is. I yeah. didn't think I get so it from this. So <laughs> go ahead and make either... Let's say that religion will give you this too. Uh, arcana or religion. Uh, I'll pick any religion. of you who want um, to can jump on this, actually. But uh, he will have advantage because the spell he's using. Can we... Can we do a short rest while this is happening? Yes, you certainly can. Uh, as Great, long as you cause... feel comfortable to sleep in this horrible place, but yeah. It's... A, a, a short rest. Yeah, yeah, yeah perfect. It's, it's double rolling, so the six okay. counts to 18, doesn't it? Uh, 18 is actually good. Uh, uh, let's see what the, they are. No, the 18 was like, 18 is a glitch. It wasn't oh. meant to be. Oh, it was okay, a okay, okay. So it's the 24 yeah. then for Bruce. Oh, wow. Fucking hell. I got 24. Yeah, 24, I rolled a second yeah, time. I don't know why. Uh, I got an 18 for Harold. Yeah. And oh, wait, then, no. It's just a 14. Just a 14. And an 18 for you uh, as well, um, Revan. Yeah. No, Revan got a 6. 6, uh, yeah. Okay, okay, a, okay. Glitch. Yeah, yeah. All right. Perfect. Okay. Uh, all right, uh, so then you will know each any of you who got higher than a 15, I will say, you will know that these creatures were constructs. Uh, you who got super high rolls, Yagu, uh, and Yagu, you will know that they were uh, some kind of 100% constructs, the way as you are familiar, um, created, and and this and then you bruce will know that this is something that a very high level spellcaster will have to do uh these creatures you've encountered them in the past uh you get enlightened by this religion check and you know that they are magens uh is something that uh that is literally like an echo of someone else really they are magical what, servants mm -hmm. could you tell me what it's called again a magen magen yeah uh they are um Created by high-level spellcasters, uh, servants uh, as well. Uh, normally, they follow their creator's instructions without hesitation until every task is complete, and they are completely known for being immobile and silent. Uh, so these two creatures so, were impersonating dwarves. So. That these are magens created as echoes of their creator and absolutely loyal. Magens, that's an M A G O N? No, e echoes of the creature that impersonated Les Purilada, in this case. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. While they're doing that, Fiona's going to take a short rest and use all the hit dice. Oh, wow. As, Damn, she looks As well gross. as arcane recovery. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, is this what you do all the time, um, Ziggy? <laughs> Just quickly, she will say. Yes, it's fucking awful. Wow, that's hardcore. Uh, she looks towards you, uh, Revan, as you... Uh, what will be Revan be doing, actually? How will you guys react to his presence there, and what will he be doing? Let's go to that one second. Rev, Rev, Revan will slowly walk forward to the, the other side of this pile of ash, kind of... He'll pull, he'll pull his hands out to kind of either side to show he's not holding anything. So yeah, uh, it 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 uh, is probably smart to find who is controlling them. Hmm? Uh, yeah. So interesting. First question though. 
Who the fuck are you? Oh, uh, hello there. Good day, Reven Ronister here, House Ronister, and the big grudging merchant prince. Uh, pleased to meet your acquaintance. Please don't shoot me. Well, I'm guessing you were the figure shooting daggers out of your wrists, so you haven't shot us, so there's no reason for us to shoot you. Um, yeah, yeah. Yet. Uh, quick He's question. Nice. I don't mm. suppose you know where, um, you know, point towards the, I guess, what's left. These came from. No, uh, I was, uh, you know, for some time before you. Um, I was, uh, I, I am here on business. I am looking for the real proprietors. But, uh, alas, they were not here. These uh, were here. Hmm? Any 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 reason you're looking for them? We're business associates. Oh, oh, yes. Uh, I, it was a business matter. I hope to discover why the mine had uh, ceased to fulfill the contract we signed with them. That's, that's mm, uh, so you were paying them, then they'd be able to pay us. No, they. Have, I we have an agreement. Uh, I provide certain wares, and they. Uh, give me the platinum. Those two tiny I'm... bastards. My house has of late been victim of poor decisions and poor alliances. My father, uh, rest him, became true victim of these things not long ago. It falls to me to rebuild the house uh, and the fortune. Hence, platinum. Um, well, I hope to reinstate the supply chain, but. Mm. Can I do an insight check on Revan? I want to know whether he is specifically uneasy about the fact that there's five of us, or is he feeling a girl? I want to get a general vibe check of Revan, if that's possible. Oh. Ross, if you would allow yeah, that, or if Ross is okay with however that. you want to roll with sure. that. Uh, he's all together the same thing. Okay. Amazing. What, what, is it, mean, what is it you specifically are trying to garner So here? what I'm trying to gauge here is, um, is Revan the kind of uneasy that is okay with talking, or the kind of uneasy that's going to attack, or the kind of uneasy that's going to bolt? Um, Revan is not built for fighting, but um, is much more of a talker. Okay, well that, that actually does answer my question then, so... Mm -hmm. I'll say, well, uh, Mr. Ronister, if I have that correctly, it seems like you've been relatively straightforward and not hitting us with daggers, which is appreciated. So, I suppose you gave us your name. Uh, my name is Errol Emmerfield, and uh, we are the uh, retinue or group of called the Caravan of Chaos, and we're here investigating our business associates as well. So, seems we share a similar purpose. So, you do not know any more than I do? Unfortunately not. No, we're looking for them ourselves. They know us. We know a couple of things, if you recall. Right. Production um... seemed to have halted in this mine about a month ago. Although they should have been working on this place significantly longer before that. Uh, Bruce will stand up, having done going through these uh, the, the dust piles, and you'll just say, "These creatures were constructs, majons, created by some very powerful magic, built to create to be an echo of the dwarfs." You'll turn to Revan. You'll walk up to him, and uh, yeah, uh, how, yeah, yeah. You know, the tech magic pickups magical items, uh, Bruce. I will have to say that. Sure thing, he'll, he'll pay attention in a second. He'll go, you assisted us in this matter, and I thank you. He holds out his hand to shake it. Uh, Revan's magical items, I mean, to be specific. Mm. Uh, he's wearing mm. some, yeah. Uh, you go, oh, uh, we, we, and uh, Revan will, will shake his hand as well. As a um, pleasure. Uh, I do, I do hope that. Uh, the, the, the brothers, the dwarves, are alive. Do you have um, anything on you that can help search for them? 
Oh, I, I, I have only what you see. Um, and he will slightly roll up the sleeves, and you can see these, he's got the the bracers and a, a, kind of a lot of, I would say, is probably kind of metallic di- metallic diamonds tattooed all o- all over himself. Uh, would... And that that's oh, that's about all he's got, and a small pack of supplies, like a regular kind of a bedroll, but it's a very small thing. As this arrow goes to the remains, it's like it is kind of odd though that I, the influence they seem to have from her. There's also some readings from my rift spanner, and Errol will take it out. Even though there's not really a portal around, these things are definitely from the Shadowfell and or the Feywild also. It's a weird mixture. How they got in here, I'm not entirely sure. I'm I'm guessing that they were here for us. Just because of, well, the disguise they took on. Uh, Revan? Yeah, Yeah, I'm going to try to look for them. Don't you think they would have reacted differently? I think they just wanted to try to lead people off who were doing the same thing we were doing, which is looking for these two. Well, the fact is that they went into the hostile against us, so I assume they were here to at least attack us, because, I mean, the last time we dealt with this group, we were a lot dumber than what we are now. Have you been here before? Is the Platinum produced here? Are they guarding the Platinum? Uh, This is a Platinum mine, yes. We, um... Actually, we met some... Uh, most of us met here. Technically, um, yes. Yeah. Although, luckily, yeah. that situation didn't happen again, which but, um, I still don't want to run into that creature again. No. Either way, uh, if I know what we're dealing with, you're in for a very rotty ride, uh, Mr. Evan. Well, uh, let's do it on this, dear. Please. Uh, uh, I'll we, tell you what I like. Uh, it is... Uh, that is very rude, and I have done nothing to you. Well, you've been relatively straightforward, and I propose that you stick with us as we search the rest of this place, or you can go your own free way. That's completely your decision, but we're pretty experienced as far as investigations goes, so I propose that we work together. Uh, Absolutely. Uh, I I do not wish to uh, investigate a, a mine. Uh, alone, uh, if there are such creatures here, um, I'm I uh, I'm able to move around very quietly, and I was here a long time without being detected. So, if you need me to help g- get us places without being seen, I can do this. Great. Um, so I'm not the only one that can do subterfuge. It's perfect. Um, Bruce. If you don't mind, could you give uh, Revan here a bit of an update about all of us? You were pretty good about it when me and Yagu first got here, if you don't mind. Certainly, certainly, I'll... uh, uh, So, uh, and Revan, and uh, Revan, and uh, Uh, Bruce... Welcome aboard for now, Revan. And then uh, Errol is going to want to take a look around to see if he can investigate the area more for any slight doors or markings or anything. Perfect. Uh, So, during the the short rest we're taking, uh, Banjo and Bruce will... Like sit with Revan or take a short walk as well and uh, just explaining who they all are and uh, what they've been up to um, explaining what they can do as well what they're capable of um, he'll 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 see it uh, fair, fair, fair warning to you uh, could I could I roll to see if I know who, you said a merchant prince would Bruce know this is from Port Nianzu, would you just know that, or would you have to roll for that, or SS4, um, which you prefer I do? We'll, we'll, I, I can't remember if Bruce has been to Cholt. Uh, you could always make a history check to see what you know of the, this. It's not been. Yeah. Yeah, you could just try it on, just make a history check then, to see if you're late. History check. Okay. So close to 19 on the die there. So I don't know what I don't know who the way the merchant princes are from. Actually, you so, know what? Um, you can have advantage because now I remember that you actually have haven't been to Cholt, but you saw the wizard. Uh, uh, what's what's his name? Uh, Stefrian was actually when you scribed on him, and it was described to you that you saw the dinosaur passing on the background. It wasn't you who did it, but I think it was hmm. told you guys figured it out that he was in Cholt and all that. So. Oh man, there actually are dinosaurs. It's canon in Chilton. Yeah, there are. And there were dinosaurs I, I, I in the campaign. Make that up. I didn't make that up. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I know. I, I love that, com- that module one day. 
Yep. Uh, wow. Fuck. Okay. 21. 20. Yes, you know that porn and Daru is the kind of like a, the, para, the place, most important place of commerce in Cholt. It's a really well known port uh, and it's actually a city on itself. Uh, yeah, you have you know that there is lords. I think that's how it works or something like that. Yeah, they're the and merchant they, princes. They, they yeah, lead. Merchant princes. They're there in charge in yeah. uh, Nyanzuru. Yeah. Um, so you know all that. It's just, yeah, so explain. Uh, Cisco, yep. I'm just going to say that uh, Errol is also doing Depth Explorer to give himself temp HP. I'll just roll that okay. right just wanted to add that. Okay. What okay. did your investigation say? Just quickly. Uh, uh, I haven't done it yet. Sure. Okay, so, so then hold on. Now. Give me a second. Whenever, do I don't want to interrupt the RP here, so you guys keep going and then you can roll whenever. Yeah. Make, make, make your roll you while we yeah. do the, the Yeah, talk. do the roll yeah. and then uh, once they conclude, then we'll go back to that. So, Bruce, well, you've noticed that Bruce's eyes are glowing silver and they do for the next like 10 minutes after using the detect magic. Uh, that's a 19. Um, and he doesn't, uh, he doesn't actually, he doesn't explain that. He just his eyes are now glowing up sort of silver light. Um, so, uh, Ziggy, uh, Ziggy's a. Uh, a bad and uh, don't mind some of the uh, more uh, pointed things he's likely to say to you. Um, he's uh, finds it difficult to trust people. Uh, Errol, very useful with a bow, um, so don't get in the way of his shots. I know that from experience. He sort of sniggers a little bit. Make uh, either a deception has, or perception uh, or persuasion check, Riban. This is like a general your face kind of uh, reacting to this. Uh, what he's telling you. Yagu was okay. A... Um, deception or what was the other one? Either either deception or persuasion. persuasion yeah. Hmm. Okay. Uh, in order in order just to what? Rem- in order to, to stay what, to to, st- to stay faceless to the fact that you know who these people are. Uh, I wouldn't go as far as you know everything right. about them, but you are. You are making that you don't know who they are, but that you do. So you've you've researched them, put it pretty much a little bit, maybe. Who knows? Be right. famous. Right. So he tells us, Errol Demerfield, that's Ziggy. Um, tells them what they can do. General over a little general overview of what they, how they generally are. And so, so Errol, Errol is solid. You know, you actually get what you see with him. Yagu is a he's a, a, a paladin of uh, of uh, Eldath. Uh, Formerly a guardian of a lake uh, very far to, to the east. Um, just getting out in the world since he joined up with us. Uh, my name is Bruce Moonbear. Um, uh, I serve as a, a cleric to uh, of the saloon. Um, not primarily, though. I'm usually here for, for, for this, and he sort of gestures to his, the, the excessive amount of weapons he has on his person. Okay. Uh, you, you all seem... Uh relatively trustworthy and uh, and, uh, like the the good guys well we try Um, by the way you said you're a merchant prince do we I happen to know what the in terms of the station what they are what on earth are you doing here and not sending people for this you're one of the I believe seven most powerful people in Port Nyanzaru we uh well um there's many would debate this since my father's decisions has led to the ruin of my house uh and uh, ultimately his demise um many are trying to uh, fill the void that uh, has been left so there is no time to waste we certainly have no money to hire anybody at the moment um uh, so it falls to me um and as you have seen i i am able to travel unseen this I must and to a large extent it is uh, I, have, I have no magic I cannot do such things but uh, I have a, a crew uh, who I sail deer with they are on uh, how does one say short, short leave uh, some of the more brutal are in the fighting pits in, uh, in the cities nearby uh, others do whatever they do. I do, I do not care what they do. So uh, I am I am here to, to, to take care of this personally. It was very important that platinum begins to flow to my house again and we can begin to rebuild. We have a long way to go. Right. Strange enough, my own father had to rebuild his house. Um, 
in the circumstances, sir. Well, it's nice to know that you two can bond for a bit. Um, I'm, I'm sure if we find our dwarves, we can <laughs> reward you with something of what they owe us. Uh, they, owe, they owe me? Uh, I do not know if I require your money if I were to get my own. Uh, I do, yes, I, I do like not that. have any. Like that. I do not have anything with me that I would normally trade, so there is nothing you may buy from me. Uh, but it is not impossible in the future. I think. I think. <laughs> if I if if we get things the way they should be. I think we can help each other out. You have a you have something you wish to regain from a partnership with uh, with the dwarves, and uh, so do we. I don't think we need to. You'll, you'll, you'll look at Ziggy pointed. I don't think we need to reward anyone with anything. I was here before you. I'm capable of finding things if I must. Speaking of, if you were here before us, um, hold on a moment, and he'll go to uh, Errol will go to Yagu. Uh, Yagu, do you remember that thing that you did with Gray, where you kind of figured out that he was with you know who? Do you think you could do that again with this one and check if you know he has any weird shit on him? I would like to remind you as well that the last time I tried to do that on Grey, she basically told me it was an all alright, so I can do it, but I don't like relying on it. Up to you. Jocko right. says as he used the pine sense. I'll be right back. Uh, divine sense, uh, can you display that so I know what it is that you're looking for? Uh, as an action, you can detect good and evil, so just, yeah. Do I sense something good or evil coming from that? Make a you? religion check. Call it yep. a, Here a comes the net one. Before. Unless it's a super evil creature. Oh, it's net two. Never mind. No. It's twice uh, the size I imagined. You, you, have, you have a one last group inspiration. <laughs> Are you sure? Like, we both know that it's going to be a net one now, probably. Oh, no. <laughs> I, still, I still think it'd be funny if it works yeah. out either way. <laughs> sure. I will use the inspiration. Oh, okay. Oh, no, never mind. No. It's even funnier. Your moral compass <laughs> kind of keeps going to each way. I mean, you don't think this creature is like a soup. You don't. Th you know that this creature is not your enemy in a kind of like one of your hidden enemies in disguise or all that kind of things are out of the picture. But it's hard to figure out where he's, uh, he, the balance of his uh, alignment goes and how. He would. Um, he he was com completely transparent in that this is a monetary and an uh, an objects transaction that's going on. There's nothing spiritual or religious or for the greater good going on here. This is old hard money he's looking for. Well, we can work with that. Um, speaking for myself, uh, a pleasure to have you on board until we can conclude our mutual business. Well, uh, I, I hope we can we can find them. Um, yes, uh, I, and I also hope that we are alone here now. I mean, we we should be alone. I mean, the only real thing in that I think we should check before we leave the cave is uh, that entrance behind you. It's I blocked it off last time I was here, and well, I think I should take a peek just to make sure nothing's festering in there. Oh, don't worry, Ziggy. I'll be. I'll get right on it. Uh, it's currently a collapsed wall, and I can. I'm fully aware, and I'll start cracking into it. <laughs> I can. I, I can just cast past wall. Save, save your resources. It'll be fine. I, I can just make a door. No, no, don't worry. It's absolutely fine. Athletics, and he shouts that. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Okay. <laughs> Um, you know that this will do two things. It's gonna make a lot of noise. So whatever creature hasn't been summoned by your fight, it will be summoned by clearing rubble. Um, if you do it as a team, uh, together, not just only you, it will probably take around half an hour to kind of completely clear it. Um, if it's only you, it will take you an hour, roughly. Um... Uh, Bruce, I have a better idea. Just make a tiny hole, and then I'll summon uh, Turlo, my little lizard, and oh. say, uh, just let Turlo pass through. Yeah, you got a token for him now, so if you want to display him, you're more than welcome to. Uh, sure, sure. 
Yeah, what that's, is that? That's actually not a bad idea. See, he sort of punches it through a little uh, hole. He, he's a bit too big. But yeah, um, I can I can see through Turlo's eyes, so just... Kind I'll of send Reapy Cheap through with you as backup. I'll go, Reapy Cheap, time to shine. <clears throat> he looks towards you, this mighty mouse comes out, uh, looks towards this... Uh, how does your familiar look like a Sagli? I know he is a lizard. So but... it, it's it's a regular little like chameleon uh, mm -hmm. sort of thing because changeling. Yeah. And so uh, the minute he sees Reaper Cheap, he, his skin just kind of shifts to the same sort of texture as the rock. Oh, just nice. because I think he senses a dark aura. Yeah. Oh, this guy's a threat. <laughs> also, like I think technically a familiar knows what I know, so mm. I know yeah, Reaper Cheap means fucking business. Yeah. And you see Rippy Chip looks towards you and know him well enough. Uh, he's questioning whether he should kill this creature or something like that. You see he's kind of like he's reaching into his to see his weapons and stuff like that. No, no, no. Don't worry. This one's a friend. It's, uh, he's, with, he's with us. He looks towards you. <laughs> kind of spits on the floor next to the chameleon. And uh, both together uh, you can guys make perception checks. Who is that? That was me. That's, uh, that was a, a token I made for Reaper yeah, Chief for oh, his one Reaper shot. Yeah, that's Reaper Chief's token, oh, that's amazing. Um, I yeah. Yeah, yeah. If, I if I'm seeing through Turlo's eyes, it's my perception, right? Uh, I believe you use his stats, though, I think, to oh, be honest okay. with you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately. I have... Yeah, so I may have made a fucking mistake picking a lizard. I just I don't I don't spend ten minutes to do the uh, to get into Reaper Chief's head. I just say, right, Reaper Chief, you back up. You back okay. up the comedian, all right? Do I do I at least get actual traits? Make a fade roll. Let's be nice here. Fuck. Just because uh, Fuck. because I am nice. And Ross is here. That's why. Uh, hi. <laughs> Hi, I do. I get track of all trades. Yeah, sure. So let's say yeah. for this instance, and then we'll think about it. I'll, I will allow you. You can change the animal. The chameleon right. is for flavor. So it, you can a... choose whatever stats, but we'll do that yeah, for next so week. Yeah, so it's a... It, it only means instead of a minus one, it's a plus one. Okay. Yeah. For uh, perception. Fifteen, yeah? Okay, oh, that's amazing. Eight. Oh, oh damn. Okay. And um, okay. what about three people? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I, think, I think I may change the familiar. I believe Reaper Cheap was a was he a rat, just a regular rat, or is he a different kind of rat? Yeah. I don't know if you ever yeah. settled on that. Yeah. But he like, was an I, awakened brown rat, yeah, or something they call them. It was I, quite I specific. Deci yeah. I decided on a lizard because I was like, a chameleon just sounds cool. But it's, makes I sense. mean, keep, keep the form, but then you can change the animal that uses the stats of. I'm happy with that. Uh, yeah, like, just right. something I've got, got the, I've got a character sheet for awakened rat, so passive session of turn. Wisdom, well, it's, a, it's, a flat, it's a flat 20, so... Okay. Uh, how's a pseudo-dragon? That should be decent. Uh, That's like a little tiny creature. You're pushing. It's better. <laughs> I That's just... not a, a normal That's... familiar choice, though. That is a normal familiar. Oh, is it? Yes. Oh, really? I, did. I, I don't remember. Wow, look at that. Chippy, Rippy Chip sees everything with a natural 20. He's had, a lo he's, 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 he's had quite a long uh, break, so... Yeah, and I will imagine ready, he kind of like, again. yeah, he kind of like moves, uh, moves uh, this uh, beautiful chameleon out of the way almost aggressively as he enters the cave. Uh, yeah, and just shoves him out of the way. Actually, I think the studio dragon may be a warlock familiar. Yeah, yeah, I think that's interesting. Yeah, that's what that's a Sounds... warlock familiar. Okay. Anyway, we'll decide else. next week. Oh. Forget the familiar now. Yeah. Just, uh, However, uh, Ripichi sees, as you expected, there is like pools, as you remember, like black pools uh, of dirty looking uh, water that resembles, uh, has a very strong and natural multiplanar sense. Not that Ripichi know what that is, but um, he will describe uh, whenever you will figure that out as you look through his eyes. Uh, and um, there is no portals. You remember been more activity on there before uh, like there was a portal but potentially now it doesn't feel like there is no opening there is no glitter there is nothing that seems like uh it could be uh um how is it called uh, play, uh, uh shadow shadow portal i think or something like that. i can't remember the name now. but yeah crossing something crossing yeah a shadow crossing or a fake crossing yeah there is none of those there, inside. But 
nothing else of interest. While all this is going on, uh, Revan is standing in the background and trying to use his, um, oh, what's it called, his uh, insightful manipulator um, features to figure out every, uh, who's inferior or, or superior to him in different stats and who might be the uh, best at which thing. Because he got some very generalized good character references from Bruce, but he wants he wants the numbers, so he's work, he's trying to work that out as well while this is going on. Yep. So more than a minute's communication with people will allow him to figure that. Out. Amazing. Uh, inferior, just in aspects of life, <laughs> just just inferior. So you will figure that out. You feel free to check the the character sheets and stuff like that if you want to cross out of game. That will be an easy way for you to figure that out. It's just a, I think that was a, that's a that's a character moment. He's measuring people up in, in silence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amazing. And um, the rest goes without any other incidents. Once you finish, you do this uh, exploring thing, but. Uh, as you no creatures come there is a few during the time that you're doing it there is some bats that kind of come in and out you kind of dispatch them quickly uh, but there is no creature there was some kind of evil creature here last time you remember being a black pudding inside this area now there is nothing like that or tiny black puddings or anything like that and no other uh, foes come your way apart yeah, from okay. the bats so there's there's nothing like Dynasty Evil in this part of the the map anymore. Yeah, it doesn't feel like okay. yeah, like nothing is there. Well, I guess um, with that uh, total, we'll come back through with just uh, Ziggy will cast mending on the hole that was made, just so if it can stay blocked up and lots away. So, so would you say this might this because this is a mine it's no longer like a cave so it's like a dungeon as opposed to something man-made as opposed to a naturally occurring thing sure mm -hmm. so would, it, is a, it is a dungeon rather than a cave would that be good or because it's technically it'd be both better it would be better if it was something naturally occurring because i can use inside the cave um uh spirit walker or communion with nature sorry okay uh let's say because this is a bit of both. It was like a half a natural cave and half a mine. It will still count as a natural uh, on this okay. so this way. Br Bruce will collect Reaper Cheap. In Reaper Cheap, I assume, will go back to his pocket and. Uh, Jumps into your pocket angrily. Glad. Like, how dare you? And. Uh, <laughs> he's, he's got the everlasting cupcake in there, he's fine. And uh, I'll take uh, 10 minutes to do Commune with Nature. And okay. to do the the only really bits I'm interested in would be powerful celestials, phase fiends, influence from other planes of existence, and uh, uh, prevalent plants, minerals, animals, and peoples. So sure. Okay. Um, there is no powerful celestial fiends, elemental, or undead uh, around you. There is a really strong influence of the Shadowfell, uh, not the Feywild. Um, the Feywild a tiny bit, more like a spice, uh, but the Shadowfell is, there is a very strong presence of the Shadowfell here, 100% sure. And uh, what else was the third thing you wanted? You know? uh, influence from other planes of existence that was in prevalent plants, minerals, animals, and people. Um, yeah. I'm not really interested in the prevalent unless it's uh, something here, but... No people or anything like that as well. There is more bats. Right, okay, um, and, and with, with this, this uh, Shadowfell thing, is that...? And once more, as is within three miles, you detect those animals on the in a place that you already know is a swamp, and a powerful creature there, uh, evil uh, kind of power. Uh, I mean, you wouldn't get that now, because I'm inside this, it's limited to 300 feet. But oh, really? Okay, okay. That okay, so then you would. Um, yeah. I don't suppose it tells me, like, a... Is it just gonna the whole place is saturated with Shadowfell energy, or is it was a specific location? It goes towards where Rippy Chip was still, but there is no portal there. That's the weird right. part. Wow. But it kind of that's the kind of like the point, the mid mid center of this. Imagine if it was an epicenter, uh, that would be it. Got you, got you. Right. Well, from what I can determine, there's no places. 
almost saturated with Shadowfell energy. A little bit of Feywild stuff. But uh, it seems to it seems to coalesce through there, and it points through where the uh, the hall is has been sealed up. But according to Reaper Cheap and, and Turlo here, there was nothing through there. So whatever happened has happened. Well, let's let's just hope it's dealt with, and then we can get out of here because this place has too many bad memories. Agreed. I don't think there's anything else for us here. I've got one last one more lead to check out to do with the uh, many points that sort of cursed that will be a belt thing. So it's you got the swamp nearby. You, yeah, that's good to do that. you are saying that on game, right? I assume. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, you. Why is the mage doing there? I don't understand. Okay. Forget about the mage. He's not really there. Um, yeah. He's been there then since we killed. That was the first one we killed. I know, but he shouldn't really be there. I don't know why he's there. I mean, sorry for that, guys. I'll refresh this. Um, you, if you are talking this on game, uh, Revan, uh, you hear uh, that they are talking about going to a swamp uh, and it kind of clicks something within you. Uh, that's where you would like to be going to. How coincidental is that? That's mm. where <gasps> Muxathor actually, you've heard rumors that he could be hiding. Uh, that is mm. your second mission. Okay. So, uh, you wish to what, investigate the entire cave, and then what? If he, uh, if nobody nobody is here, I don't think there's anything else here. Um, there's a thing I can do, and uh, the Shadowfell energy is interesting. But uh, whatever happened with it has already happened. Maybe it's where those Majon things came from. But uh, that's all we can gather. No, those things were, those things were puppets. Something yes. made them, sent them here, but yes. they cannot. They, they, their instructions come from what another plane, or why not just here? There are plenty of bad people here. You do not need to go that far. We have potentially made enemies that are quite powerful, but uh, I don't know if they were here for that or here for resources. You know those tattoos they had, the ones that were noticed by who they know it's by again. Uh, I think he was uh, Harold. Yeah, Harold. Yeah, uh, as your name is mentioned uh, before you, be, uh, without cutting you off, you find uh, what it seems to be a kind of like a letter, sealed letter, with the symbol of the Dragon Queen on the stump. Mm. Well, that would oh, confirm the suspicions then. But you go, uh, the letter is addressed to the Caravan of Chaos. Uh, Bruce, keep mm -hmm. going. He was just finishing that he, did, okay. he doesn't know if these things were here for us specifically or if they're just here because of the platinum mine. That's, you know, that's kind of wealthy. There's a lot of wealth here that could be handy for a cult. Oh. I think, I think it's too on the, no on the nose that it's people we know. And as uh, they're talking, Errol uh, notices it, looks at it. Just found something. Oh, what is it? I'd recommend not getting too close. It's a hazard symbology, but it's for us. So, uh, just I, give me a second. No, no, I can do it and do uh, mage hand it open. All right. Okay. Um, as you mage hand it open, it feels okay. It just you break the seal, and there is a letter written in kind of like a black paper, the same with the envelope, it's also black with a red rim uh, around it. The paper is the same, and it's written with a red ink. Uh, you can make a nature check mm. if you want, or anyone uh, who is yeah, interested can jump on that as you Ooh. see yes. this. Red ink. Um, nature check. Uh, it's okay, so Errol uh, is going to start reading it then. I'm going to... Ziggy is going to guide us himself, oh, mainly because we're all sure. shit. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I, whisper, I whispered that, but it was a nat, it was a nat 20. Oh, what nice. Fuck? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so it's what did Ziggy say? Okay, so... Hmm, and you have a 19. So... Errol, um, from 19 up... Uh, okay, let's start with Yago. Uh, it's animal's blood. 
that's what you get, Yago. Uh, creature, kind of animal, beast, unsure. Um, moving to you, uh, Siggy. Siggy got an 18. 18. Yeah, you get... Uh, that is probably a humanoid. You're just not sure 100%. Uh, but starting from you, arrow going up, you get that is a blood from a human, from a creature. Um, you aren't sure which one. Uh, 100% humanoid of sorts. Fiona and uh, and your Revan uh, is blood from a dragonborn. Did I get that for my 20? Sure. 20 as well. Reveals that. Errol is just Errol is going to be reading it then. Uh, you have. And you'll read it. It says you have already lost. Kneel, and your death will be fast. This is the Dragon Queen's will. Right. Just another empty threat. Okay. Do you smell what blood it is, or is this? Just, is it just me? Mm. This is. Do, do you? Do, yeah. You I, know it is dragonborn blood. Yes, I'd rather not think about whose it is. But anyway, another thing, Revan. I'm not sure if they informed you, but uh, we, the individual deity that's responsible for part of this, might be on our shit list also. So keep that in mind as we uh, venture together. Uh, okay. Uh, uh fantastic. F- Fiona, you should probably not stay with us. I mean, is uh, having I been useful? I mean, I, I thought I was doing well. I mean, an extra book could always be useful, <laughs> like an extra Errol spell book. <laughs> well, what I'm trying to be polite here. I- I think I just don't want my friend to die. I think that's really it. I know. I also, feel the no, same you way. didn't hit anything. I mean, I'm just. It's, it's been a hard day, you know. But uh, I am hundred percent. I'm focused now. I'm, I know I can do it. I don't want you to die either. That's why I'm still here. Uh, I know you are a much better fighter, as I saw uh, now than I remember you being. Uh, you've grown a lot in power. And I haven't really reached there yet, but you know, uh, an extra hunt, I, I'll i try to stay more behind and do less uh, close fighting. Would that be okay? I just want to make yeah, sure you guys are okay. The best. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess, I'm guessing we're done with his mind then. We're going to have to figure out what happened here around yeah, the yeah, area. I guess we have to. I mean, yeah. we know something else is going on restrange in the town. Some form of uh, something in the swamp. I mean, I'd honestly, I'd rather see what time it is by the time we get out of mine. Maybe I agree. Yeah. Maybe deal with this tomorrow for the simple facts. I'm pretty sure I've cracked a rib. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this hasn't been exactly. Some of you, forgetting. whoever as players once, uh, not, will have noticed that Bruce is gone. Uh, Yago also uh, is banished. Uh, and you guys too can have us a moment before the others arrive and i will imagine everyone else is leaving the cave too is that uh what we're doing yeah okay i cool. think we're all just taking out long enough for a wee short thing yeah it's yeah. that will take up too much time yeah. okay as as bruce gets out of the cave uh imagine you probably will also hear him roar as well you've heard him you've heard him, heard him bellow before and um, i'm not going to shout this because neighbors and Downstairs. Mm-hmm. She's, she's a, she has a long day. She was four hours late in getting home. Uh, yeah. And uh, he's going to shout at the top of his lungs. And, and he's going to shout to uh, Tiamat. Every one of your followers, anyone I find, I will kill them. Every one of them will die. I'll keep going until they're all gone if I have to. I see you kind of shout. out loud. As you shout that uh, aloud on the top of your lungs, you don't hear anything, but almost like in your mind, you kind of feel like a <laughs> like a laughter of uh, of joy of how you are reacting to this, uh, like almost like feeding on your anger and hatred. 
he thinks in his he just he doesn't say anything this day, he just thinks in his head, good, you've noticed. And then he'll punch a tree or something, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Jagu, what do you what do you was how is Jagu reacts when he sees that happening and even the name of Tiamat being mentioned? First of all. Ooh, Bruce might not know I'm there. I was expecting like a one roll or something. Oh really? Okay, okay. I might that's my amazing. passive perception 17, so he doesn't, he doesn't know you're there, or yeah, he starts yeah. like ripping up a tree or something. I, I want I want to something to watch from a distance. I was there just in case, but this nothing happens, he kind of just chuckles. Okay. Like a nice. And you <laughs> see, still outside, uh, it's dark, uh, still night. I mean, you haven't been that long in this cave. Uh, it's around 11 something in the evening. And then, as the rest of you start catching up, is it any conversation you'll be having as you catch up with uh, Bruce and Jago? Um, no, but I will say, if uh, it, it's late, if we intend to do a camp, uh, I assume the town's still deserted. We can try and rest up in a house and maybe. Some of the dome just extra protection. Uh, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, if we need going space, to the most thingy. Uh, the swamp. I mean, I'd, if something dark I, and powerful's there, I'd like to do it with full strength. I agree. Um, if because we've got a new ally, if we all need multiple domes, uh, both me and Fiona can cast the spell. How many people can a dump it? I would assume I that can, all of us can uh, be in it now. You can all fit. It's eight, no, I think, or ten. Yeah. Uh, nine. Nine medium creatures, yeah. actually. Yeah, so so can, we should yeah, be yeah, fine because there should be six of us if I'm doing my math. Yeah, right. yeah, we, we should all be fine. But um, I think uh, while we're doing that, I may just prepare for a bit of uh, field work. I may. Do you so, want uh, to go to Vermilion? Do you want to do the dome? On the forest, do you want to do the dome? Uh, probably in one of the buildings of the town, if like we're okay, okay. to do a long rest. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah. just because uh, like both of me and Fiona used a lot. I just move you. Guys got very there. low health. But um, I think I may, I may spend about ten gold just during the evening to cast Find Familiar again and bring up uh, Turlo as like a different creature, maybe an owl, just because sure. that'd be. You, I'll be happy for you to use the stats of an owl, but he will still look the same if you're happy with that. That's for fun. Uh, and, and, just change, and just change him to a different creature is fine. Sure. Okay. I don't have an owl token yet. Uh, if it's a recurring it's thing, fine. let me know. Uh, I, I, I have an owl, owl token. Okay. Cool. All right. Um, or at least I should do. I'll imagine you will be, you set up camp kind of like a doing as probably as inconspicuous as possible you could you remember the mayor's house being the nicest house on here uh, that you can see as well uh, is this bigger one there yeah i believe that's the one uh, so you could nicely rest there it's a bit close to the cemetery but you saw the boggles don't seem to be reacting unless you go to their place uh, uh, I imagine you will take watches, right? Uh, and set up camp yeah. and all that. Uh, all actually, um, Philo can just stay up all night. Okay. Because okay. familiar. Alright, perfect. Uh, but uh, if we're in the dome, like, it should be fine. He's got vision, right? He'll be inside the dome yeah, still. Yeah, okay. as, as an owl, he's fine. Alright, would you like to take I mean, watches? Uh, I mean, Harold will take we... second watch, so... Because you'll just need only the four hours, and then you'll be good. Okay, perfect. Yeah, Bruce will do a watch as well. He'll he'll want to, even if he doesn't necessarily need to, with the the the, the dome and turbo being up all night. Okay, perfect. Uh, Re Revan Revan will not offer to take a watch, but he uh, is most likely if only half asleep and kind of keeping an eye on everybody anyway. Right. Awesome. Okay. So I'll, if you want to have any conversations during your watch, uh, you're more than welcome if, between you waking up each other or not. Otherwise, um, we'll move forward a little. No, but uh, one thing, uh, probably because because of fucking high perception, uh, you will notice the owl is staring at you sometimes, uh, Revan. Mm. Just, mm. just intermittently throughout the night. Just give uh, you a selfie look. I think 
think that Re Revan would ask if anyone knows what direction this uh, this m marsh is. Yeah, I'll say Fiona and C will hundred percent show plus Bruce who spelled the location. I think. I mean, as uh, we, me and uh, Fiona are locals, we can we can take us to the swamp pretty easily. Yeah. The bar? It's like a couple of miles from where you are. Roughly. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not sure where in a map of Faerun we are Don't in, worry about uh, when we're in Vermilion. No, <laughs> yeah, but uh, we, don't, we, don't say, yeah, we had this we don't discussion. Either. We don't. Uh, uh, and me as a DM, I know now because the text that is very close to the... Um, supposedly is meant to be very close to the... Uh, to the Peaks things, however the Peaks are, are called, that I can't remember the name now. There's something Peaks that I have it here. We drew, uh, we drew on our map. Yeah. Map yeah, but it's not, that's not what it's actually, we put it. Uh, the spine of the world is meant to be up there somewhere, but you can put in your campaign whatever you want. So we decided that it's not too far from uh, from that um, gnome kind of village that you guys had the party and all that. Hard, oh, hard buckler. Hard buckler, yeah, that's it. So it's okay. not far we're, from we're near there. hard buckler, yeah. So, so that means we're, we are um, off, off across the horizon would be Baldur's Gate. To the west, kind of thing. Is that right? Mm, I'll give you a sure. map. If you want. Uh, um, it's a bit of a trouble. I know. I'm just thinking. I'm, as, I'm just thinking of whatever it was that uh, Revan put in um, uh, in, in the uh, in his ship called the Huldra. Um, he's looking off in that direction to whatever major town that is, and he's quite enjoying the idea that just on occasion there's a flash of lightning, but there aren't any clouds. <laughs> it's quite good fun. He knows what's going on over there. Is that the big one or the small one? That's the big one, isn't it? Yeah, it's the big one. Of course, it's the big What's one. What's going to happen? It's, it's, uh, it's mem members of his uh, members of his crew off in that direction. The things they're capable of. Mm. Well, that's amazing. Um, he knows he's in the right place. Okay. During your watches, um, you guys. Uh, each of you during your watch uh, see a lot of undead patrolling the town almost literally patrolling uh, the town but they don't seem to have spotted you for some reason almost like uh, they ignore you kind of thing like uh, they seem to be expecting something different potentially maybe they are very stupid and mindless who knows but they don't really approach they don't go inside houses but there is a lot of undead that you don't remember being here before and zombies like bleh, kind of walking around some points. Not hordes, but single ones. Bruce just does his usual rituals uh, just before he begins his watch, here at the saloon, uh, the, the ritual for the traveller. They still probably doesn't get quite right, but god damn it, he tries every time. Up on the roof of that building. Okay. Um, as you do that, uh... If you want to make some kind of religion check or something, you could do, uh, if you want to, or sure. up to you. Your thing, boss? Or are you religion? Straight roll. That's a... Oh! Whoa! This is gonna be good, boys! Guys, what the I'm fuck just... are we doing today? Yeah. I don't know why I got that six, though. It just... it just rolled. <laughs> as you kind of focus on the moon, kind of for a second as you're doing your rituals and all that uh, through where you are even though you're inside a house there is windows and you can see that uh, he the went moon... on the roof he went on the roof <laughs> oh right amazing oh, yeah, yeah okay I thought so yeah okay cool uh, and you see uh, the moon is out uh, and its power is strong and as you kind of try to commute with your deity uh, you kind of feel her ever so close to you almost like you could speak to her if you wanted to with a natural 20 so i will allow you to do one question and you will get a cryptic answer based on what you see around you and things like that if that is helps with anything a question oh shit um almost like if you um yeah doing commune uh, it doesn't have to be a yes or no answer it can be whatever but uh What are they doing to Aki Flamacaster? Okay. That's who's on his mind right now. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
as you kind of like uh, think of that question. For a second, you the moon starts to glow much more than ever before, almost like illuminating the room. Uh, if any of you were awake, probably your uh, your uh, fellow, your your familiar will see this light. Kind of the room outside is illuminating a lot uh, suddenly, and in there uh, you see for a second Bruce. Aki, still tied up, almost like an ethereal vision. Uh, the wound that you saw before of his heart been missing and a hole on it, now it has healed. And it seems to be still tied up, restrained, kind of immobilized. And just innately you know that they don't require to have him there anymore. They're just doing it to hurt you. Whatever they wanted is done and somehow Aki survived. They took his heart out and he actually survived. So there is a very strong magic in Aki that you didn't even were aware. Uh, we'll get to that one day, Ross, if you come permanently and the story fits and we'll see how, yeah, how that works. Who knows? You might even be an undead mm -hmm. after that. But yeah, that's a different story. <laughs> With yeah. my homebrew or something, I think of that. But yeah. And ro 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 rolling on from that. And the, the vision. The, the nat 20. Ro rolling on from the nat 20. He'll say it again. He'll say it again out loud again. Like I promised you, Tiamat. Every single one of your followers, if they cross me, I will end. You'll have no brightness left. You'll be forgotten. Nothing. Okay. This time, done. you don't sense anything. No response, no. Rather the opposite. You feel the energy of the moon mother on you. Glowing. Why not she... disapproving of this desire for vengeance either. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Yep, that's me done. Amazing. I mean, you know the gods can be uh, gods of the old, you know, like these deities are, you know, I imagine the gods of this world being a bit like the old gods from the Old Testament. Uh, you know, they yeah, can Old be Testament words, smite, like smite and... evil is okay, you know, like kill evil is fine perfectly, you know, it's not... Like, I, I, I just imagine there's a difference between like you're going out and defeating evil, but then you're, you're going out and doing this because you want to hurt them. There's a, there's a difference in the details, yeah, yeah. I imagine. But in Bruce's mind, Saloon's not big on that, and yeah. he's struggling with that. <laughs> She's kind of like, you, you know your deity. Uh, they don't really seem to interfere that much unless things uh, get out of hand. So, right. Of course. And as all your watches kind of pass, uh, we are in the morning again. Uh, Vermilion seems to be glowing uh, with daylight. Uh, everything seems normal. The houses are still disheveled, uh, rumble. And now that it's daylight, you see that all the vegetation that has grown and kind of like wrap around these houses, uh, including the one you are, are kind of like a black and purple color. They are not a normal vegetation from this land. Uh, they are vegetation from elsewhere based on what you already you know, you could assume this is kind of shadow fell uh, vegetation that has changed. Oh my god, look at that. What is going on with these rolls? Um, portents. Um, I'm rolling for Ziggy's portent. Oh, nice. He rolled a, a 20 and a 20. 4. And nice. I need to roll for uh, Fiona, Fiona as well. Amazing. And uh, I'm going to oh, do shit. my uh, depth explorer and also use a first level spell slot to create good berries and I'll be offering everybody, including Revan, a uh, good berry. I'll be like, berry? Uh, okay. The Let's biggest, berry. plumbiest berry you've ever seen, probably, unless you had uh, the same kind of uh, like green, ranger yeah. druid caster that did the spell yeah. before. Like, uh, everybody, berry. Yeah, as you like eat it, it fills okay. you up so much, like uh, like you had a, an English breakfast, pretty much, with sausage, egg, <laughs> bacon, like a proper, you know, like, whoa! Yeah. <laughs> Alright, 
All right, well, that takes care of that. As always, I rolled you keep us fed. Well, we can we can probably start out with the expedition to the swamp. I mean, mm -hmm. I can we can definitely prepare for it. I mean, thankfully, Bruce, you can fly over the swamp, but I sadly can't. Actually, so, um, we all can, and Errol will break out this rug, and then he'll say, up, and then the rug will be oh, flying, right, yeah. and then Errol will step on. Uh, Bruce, you can fly yourself. Uh, everybody, uh, Revan, Yagu, Fiona, Ziggy. Oh, yes, uh, of course, I'll also have to mention that Fiona has spoke to you, Revan, a little bit uh, as well through the evening, and you know... Mm -hmm. Based on the similarities that you both tieflings and stuff like that, you would have had that kind of talk, you know, like a, a little bit and making sure that you are okay. You know, she seems a nice girl, you know, very polite and friendly. And yeah, mm -hmm. the carpet comes out. Well, uh, actually, well, Fiona can... The case. Sorry, Fiona can fly herself, so she will be able to okay, nice. so, okay, so that's more room on the carpet. And then I'll just be in the driver's, in the very front on the carpet. And it was like, all right, let's see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and then I just go forward. You forgot to tell everyone where the emergency exits were, Harold. <laughs> I mean, you could do that. You know, Safety you're the co-pilot. Safety first, everyone. <laughs> yeah, so, Ross, that's just the name of the, the carpet, right? Safety. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. okay. The carpet's called safety. Yeah. It's called safety. Okay, we we're in canon. We're naming it safety. He's like, yes, uh, this is safety. Uh, my carpet. I got this from uh, a wish that I found on a corpse. Yeah, wait, Ross, do you know about that? A flying carpet. Ross. No, about we got We're three wishes. Ross, not, not Revan. No. You are fine, uh, <laughs> Revan. We will tell you after the game. It's oh, yeah, it, yeah, wait, yeah. Do we call the carpet safety or is it safety first? Like, it's the safety first. HMS, the safety first. I only say that because if we're in a panic, it's like safety or safety first, you know, like it, it's yeah, faster it to say cool. safety, but. Get her, get her to safety. <laughs> what was it? Get Revan to the about, safety. What were you about to say when um, Fiona was talking to Revan? Ah uh, no no. All Ross, good. Um, oh yeah, you were gonna say something. I was uh, oh, yeah. I was I was I was ruling. If we were talking all night, I had to rule a few things to see yeah, what happens. Yeah. But uh, but it looks like it's probably fine. It is definitely fine. Cool. Um, and then, uh, just a quick question, uh, I don't want to interrupt you, just for the sake of us uh, moving on. Um, would you like to kind of fly over the swamp and scan from the top? How high would you like to do it? Would you like to do it stealthy or are you just going full on? So full on scan, probably not as concerned about stealth because we really need to see everywhere. I want to say maybe about 50 feet up? Is that okay with everybody? 50, 40 uh, feet high? Yeah, I can, send, I can send Turlo down as well to have like a quick sight. Now that he's an owl, yeah. he has advantage and wisdom, and I can give him like a bardic inspiration. Okay, is well, there, we, we, um, if we if we're not if we're not yeah if we're not caring about if we're not caring about stealth, the second we see what anything that we're looking for, Revan's diving off the carpet, and okay. to be to be stealthy on his own. <laughs> <laughs> Smart. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, is there a tree line that we can go below and stay above, or is it quite As open? you actually start exploring the terrain, uh, the swamp is completely desolated. There is, like, broken trees. Like, there is some, doesn't seem to be a lot of life on it. It's all, like, now blackened trees and kind of, like, dirty-looking inky water. And you feel the Shadowfell presence super strongly here as well. Uh, and you have this vision, Bruce, of this, uh, or oh, I can't remember who had, yeah, it was you, uh, on who had the vision? I can't remember now. Damn it. Uh, when you scried, uh, who was that, actually? Did you? And, uh, we all had a look, didn't we? Because we got the orb. Yeah, yeah. Uh, before we go on, um, this tree, Errol is just gonna... Quickly, you know that uh, there was this weird looking tree, and you will recognize that tree from the distance now, but you go, Errol. I was just going to say to Revan, so I noticed you don't have much, and Errol's going to pull out his bag of holding. So I have some weapons here in case you need some. Uh, are you more of a dexterous guy? I think I have a short bow in here somewhere in case you need something for range. Because I noticed you uh, have your daggers, but I imagine that can't get you very far. Uh, I find that if I am any, if I am uh, so far away, uh, 
I am not so useful anyway, and daggers is as close as I am willing to get, so I, I, I am fine, thank you very much. Uh, what else right. do you have in there? I have darts, I have a blowgun, I have some hand axes, and uh, let's see, I have a rapier, a shield, a couple short mm -hmm. swords, sickles, slings, studded leather if you need that, and um, war picks and war hammers. I also got a shit ton of light hammers if you like. Yeah, that's a also lot, true. Also, a lot of rolling pins. A lot of rolling pins as well. And only two left. No. <laughs> this is just Daryl trying to give some friendly protection to Revan if he wants and or needs it. That's the point of this conversation. No, no, I, uh, I, uh, I appreciate, I appreciate it, but uh, I, I can take care of myself, and I, um, I wish it was not true, but I have had to take care of myself before, so. I know how to do this, and I have chosen my tools as such. Very well. Not even the stud leather, just to be sure. You got, you got that. Uh, he'll roll up his sleeve a little bit, and you'll see that the uh, the dark metallic-looking uh, diamonds keep going all the all the way up his sleeves, and as far as you can see, it, it will not be as useful as something like this. But uh, I, again, I appreciate the offer. All right. Very well. Enjoy the safety then. Carpet named it safety. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, as you are flying, uh, kind of like uh, not too far, not too close, uh, please make a perception check. All of you. Gotcha. Or whoever is leading the carpet, however you want to do it, I'm happy. Either way, you pull up one of you. I mean, I don't like this guy with one eye ring. So. Or, or all of you can roll. <laughs> You know, I may have gone. I may have gone a little bit further ahead because I'm not slowed down the way the carpet is. Because the carpet's slowed down with a little extra weight, isn't it? Um, we no. haven't really thought of that. Um, no, um, like if is it not, is it not slowed down? Okay. Yeah. Well, like say, if only yeah, like two of us are on the team, it's at sixty feet. Otherwise, it's at thirty feet. So. I'm just a standard roll. Fiona can fly too. So. Yeah. So I'll I'll, I'll roll for Fiona, but um. Trini rune. Uh, perception. Wow, that's crazy. Got oh, a perception. Shit. Amazing. Uh, twelve for Fiona, but um, Tola got a dirty twenty. Okay. Nice. Okay. Um. So because you have kind of like you set around fifty feet up in the air, that's not too high, really. Uh, so the DC will be uh, what did I guess Fiona with a twelve does uh. Is the only one who actually doesn't realize um, that you see this kind of like uh, surrounded this huge tree with a, like a looks like a, there is food what it seems to be like a corpse uh, eating corpses and kind of like around this tree and in there you see what it seems to be like a huge wolf with a bald head unusual looking creatures um, you can make nature checks if you want Ooh, uh, let me just make sure that is nature what is the right thing to do oh. here I, I hope it is I just got a soft 20 <laughs> yeah, sorry for that one second let me click on this 21 no idea city boy Yep. Uh, yeah. Some of you aren't sure. Uh, uh, Errold and Bruce. Uh, yep. Unsure. 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 <laughs> kind of there. Uh, I'm not sure if there's any more rolls coming. Uh, I will. S it's only you two uh, for the time being. Uh, you know these are works. They are like some type of uh, creatures uh, that you might have heard of, uh, as you know what they are. They are, um, let me just give you a bit of information here. The above game, I know they're intelligent as well, aren't they? Like sapient. Yeah, they are not actually animals, they are monstrosities. Um, they are kind of intelligent considering they are the way that they look. Uh, they are cunning and malevolent, normally evilish in nature. Um, and they serve as mounts. They are quiet. You can be. Uh, they can be trained and stuff. So it's not like a dire wolf or something like that. And that was a long check, but it's too late now. <laughs> so that's what it happens. Okay. Uh, 
Cool. They're, they're, I imagine they get lumped in with like wolves and canines on occasion, yeah. so you're learning about it. Sometimes you see wolves with wolves, but but remember. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it makes sense. So, yeah. Cool. Uh, and you see quite a few of those. Uh, there is like uh, maybe s seven. Uh, as they notice you, they kind of all hide inside the tree that seems to be hollow with some parts. They all kind of vanish out of sight. So One of them taking game. a piece of, of a corpse. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> sure. Above game. So I'm looking back at my notes, but... Uh... Doesn't say... What exactly do we know about this creature that is in the swamp? And possibly that, in this tree? That he's a humanoid? Uh, very evil. Uh, shadow fell kind of like infused. That's as far as you know, but uh, some someone else might know no, more. Who knows? Uh, Bruce, Bruce like, kind of floats back up to the carpet. I like, imagine he went down a little bit lower to get a better look. That's why he got a better roll. So, right, well, seven, seven, seven wargs? Five, sorry? Uh, yes, there were uh, seven at the time eh? when you saw last. The seven wargs. However, for there. disclaimer, yeah. that might change. Let, let's see how it goes. <laughs> there might be you six. Know, I, Who knows? I no I noticed there might be up to seven wargs. Yeah. Down there. They retreated <laughs> in the tree when they were spotted. Yeah. Um, what do we know? And if anyone doesn't know, they are intelligent creatures and also bad news. Um, what do we know about this being we're looking for? Just all I know is it's humanoid, not good news. He shadow fell energy infused. He. He made the Alba Conjuration trinket. It's you know that much. Made the Alba the, the left. <laughs> you, you know about it. You, you let's, let's kind of like, uh, just because I don't want you to get the wrong information, even though I'm kind of like not really there. You know that somehow he's related to the item. Uh, I can't remember who was the one of you, if anyone knew who Blinsky was. Uh, that was kind of important, but I don't think anyone figured it out who it was. Uh, so yeah, you are thinking he's definitely mm. responsible for it. Let's put it out. Whether he might have made that's that item or not, Dino. that's a different question. Go ahead. What uh, would I know? You will know that he he's originally from the Shadowfell, from uh, Demon Liu specifically. Uh, he has been an evil mage. Um, creature who has uh, enjoys causing pain and giving destruction for no reason at all uh, that's why he's so well known uh, he he seems to come in and out of crossings and appear in different places on the forgotten realms uh, fights people he's a mage of some sort uh, you know he's a very unusual um, type of creature uh, called... One second. I don't want to say the wrong name. I don't think it's... It's not Wooly. I think it might be a Wooly Wog uh, out of the top of my head. Wooly Wog. Yeah, I think it might be. Uh, one sec. Wooly Wog's like the toads. I love Wooly yeah. Wogs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, why is it telling me page not found? Fuck you, bitch. One second. <laughs> Our new rogue friend stole okay. it. <laughs> they, yeah. That's okay. So uh, while 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 yeah, he's okay. looking for that, um, uh, Rev the Revan can start filling in. Uh, he uh, he attacked our crew when we when we made land, um, and not so long ago. He is the puppet master I was referring to. I believe he likes to create things. To cause us problems, it was it was not a straight fight, and you all seem much more organized than the people I fought with last time. Uh, they were slightly more hit it with a stick and uh, hope for best. So, uh, this maybe will be better. You seem more adept with magic, and this is what he does. Yeah. You, he's not you, kidding. He attacked me before. Look, yeah, look, he's really not kidding. <laughs> sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. I, I just, I need to. Can you plot your ears? I think I need to speak to our caravan quickly. And I you, just turn around to everyone. 
one last thing. I mean, uh, I mean he, he will he do that and he will be watching. He'll, really okay. yeah. he'll be doing that and watching watching your lips and everybody else's because you can do that as well. Amazing. So go <laughs> and do whatever is, role. Is this one for real? Because uh, we're still, we're still, we still lots of shoveled. Right? I mean, in comparison to what exactly, besides maybe the other heroes that we run into with the I mean, greys, yes, there's I, not I a lot of other comparison to be fair. Yes, but I don't, forgive me all, I don't consider us competent. Bruce, I mean, Bruce I don't know, we've killed Bruce a lot of things. We have some moments. Bruce floats over to Revan, prods him, floats back over. Fair enough to me. Mm. Okay, anyway, you know what? The... Take him out, take him out. Are we finished? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've okay. finished. Um, you are you are a competent group. I am I am telling the truth. I have worked with incompetent groups and I, they I know, all do much sweet. of the same thing. They do, they do the same thing and things blow up and they hurt one another and it's very, I'm very stupid. struggling to believe you. I'd well, like to hear that. You have people... Oh, you work in lines. You have people people who hit. You have people who stand behind them helping. You have people with magic users and people with bows and arrows and you are all in the right place instead of all standing. I, My last group, it was like children's football. It is 22 small people chasing the same thing. Uh, nobody is coordinated. Amazing. <laughs> right. Well, thank you for the compliment. I greatly appreciate that. Well, the Lots good news is, is that hopefully it's just wargs because there's not much they can do if we all just stay up here. But if there's more down there, then that's going to be a problem. Uh, well, I mean, do, yes, are the, the wargs things... protecting these base? more things that you know about this creature just before i forget mm -hmm. uh he's a blood mage that is something very unusual he might he can manipulate uh things with blood and he's got this mask as you mentioned that you uh that he's wearing that makes him uh gives him a special abilities uh, based mm -hmm. on the type of creature he is he's part of their uh kind of order of a blood mage order to wear this kind of mask and it stops him from being targeted by divination or different things but yeah keep going the, this is uh this is uh, uh, an item which i am particularly interested in as we uh a larger problem and it would be good if he did not know we were coming if we could find a way to use it but uh obviously everything else is uh is up for grabs and the item in question else. what are you gonna do with it use it be not able to be found it is very much what i do i would mm. like the i would like the uh I, I would like the evil that we fight to not know my home address and I, okay i think you know what i just think it just like he may he may be smart <laughs> Again, you will get used to him. The point is, is that that was the nicest thing we... Ziggy's ever said about anyone. What are you on about? It really, it might and be smart. It... <laughs> the point is, is that we are going to have to deal with whatever's down there. So, any thoughts? Um, dynamite uh, and fireball. I'd rather not see? burn the entire smoke, forest smoke down and be saved. Yeah, see, swamp. It see? is. Listen it to is in March. It is wet. Smoke him out. Mm. It will not burn. You just the the, the the tree. If that is the tree. I mean. Yeah, it looks like a tree with balls. I have to say, I'm sorry, I can't help it. Yeah, uh, the one. Yeah. I mean, we could, we could, we could try and smoke him out. You be. I mean, we probably shouldn't do it from this height because if the carpet burns and dies, I'm allergic to falling. So, Revan, would you say then that this individual is not a reasonable person? Uh, he is not a reasonable person. And as you finish right. that, that sentence, is a... not a reasonable person, you realize that from the carpet, the middle of the carpet, this kind of like a blood starts searing out in this kind of red mist looking thing that starts to stand all throughout the carpet 
and you start to feel like really nauseous and kind of like almost the blood is getting into your mouth, eyes and everywhere possible magically. I need Revit. all of you to make a constitution saving throw as we will end the session on that. Uh, no, it's plus four, right? I'm not, not, I'm not on the carpet. Why? Yeah, you so don't need am to. I safe no. from um, <laughs> it's actually 20 foot radius, so how far from the carpet will you be? Maybe Fiona and you don't I have to do it. I would imagine be, you will I would fly with be, her. I would not be 20 feet away because I've just been having a conversation with everybody, unless you give me a chance to float away from it when yeah, I see it. Yeah, <laughs> I will imagine then in that case because you all kept conversing very close by, so you should be. 20 feet on 40 feet a, radius from the beginning. I well, got a 17 there. Okay, uh, 17. Ziggy got a 26. Oh, nice. Do we have an inspiration left? Do nope. you think we oh, yes. not group ones? Okay. We and, used uh, it. <laughs> Fiona got a dirty 20. Okay, uh, amazing. The is, DC is, is actually, mine. Is mine come through? Can anyone see it? Uh, I don't no, actually it's been see. Really it. Yeah, yeah, it hasn't been coming. No, the through last though. one was a actually, nature check. Actually, yeah, I see a nature check, like, but not this one. Uh, try, right, try, okay. Try, 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 try the right click thing. The right click thing. Yeah. Okay, roll. Yeah, let's see. It works that way. Or, or to, oh, okay. I have to. It's making me do that. Right. Eighteen. Fair enough. Oh wow! Okay, so, that is to. enough. It's, it's rolling and then asking me if I would like to roll. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's so weird. Okay, <laughs> right. so the DC is actually uh, seventeen. Um, so you guys who succeeded on the save, that is. I think, uh, I think we all succeed because yeah. yeah, because the I got a seventeen one. with a four. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so with a seventeen as well, yeah, amazing. So you take only half. Uh, that is half of 38 points of necrotic damage, whatever that is. Uh, 40 should be 20, so 19. Seven, 19. Eight, 19, yeah. 19 points of necrotic damage as you are successful. And you feel somehow that this will do more if you were actually not successful on this save. You don't say. This actually, is... did Fiona get a 16? Uh, no, she got, got a, a 20. She got a 20. Oh, amazing. Yeah, because you're going to keep her Okay. Amazing. So, yeah, all of you are successful. Does this mean that we've now all dove off? Uh, I would want to, whoever is. I think the carpet is not really concentration or anything like that. But it's not. It's not. It's not. So, it's just the carpet is going, yeah. uh, moving around. But you. Okay. You think, obviously, this is not a coincidence. This is this creature that just casted a spell on you. Whether where is he you aren't sure you see the tree is full of crevices maybe it has like tiny openings that he can see you through even though you might not be able to see him there is a big misty around around the swamp so you gather it's probably easier for him to see than for you to see him and with that realization uh as it is time uh anyone else like to say anything before we end tonight's session can we throw the owl bear belt him <laughs> You can certainly try. <laughs> I just I'm sure I don't know if an item like this. very happy to have seven Albers helping him. Too. Should destroy the damn thing. <laughs> Amazing. Cool, cool. Biggie, firebomb the damn thing. <laughs> I said this, and people want, were against me. Yeah. We never said we were against it. We're just checking our I mean, options. I mean, to be fair, to Luke's credit, Harold is the one that's like, I don't know about burning the place down. So Harold was the only one that argued against it. But I can stop now, forest fires, but I he, can also stop. He may have reconsidered that position, considering looking he's going to be how, vomiting blood. Looking at how wet everything else, you gather that fire might not be the most effective type of things. This will not. Kind of, it might do damage, but it might not set it on fire. It's too swampy and too wet around here. But with that thought, as you guys think of what to do next, we will end it there. Thank you very much to my amazing players, Luke, Ross today, what a delight, uh, Mark, uh, Andy, and uh, Joey. Uh, thank you very much. Like every week, uh, it's an honor to be DMing for you. Thanks to all our viewers. Thanks to Darren. Curtis, James Webster, Tabletop Audio, Tessa Presents for the maps, yeah, and to everyone, and we will 
see you tomorrow uh, back on the Eye of Observation uh, or on Sunday on Dining uh, Dining of Barovia again. Fuck it. Uh, <laughs> Dragon Land Shadow, the Dragon Queen. Until then, stay magical, y'all. Take care. We love you. Bye bye. See ya. Bye-bye. See you later. See bye. You later. Yeah. Amazing. And I think of Mo, but he's not here. Let's go. <laughs>